All right, welcome back. In case you're coming back, in case you're not, welcome to Condor Season 14, week number two. We got a blood division matchup between Andrew Muir and Lake Hope. My name is Tic Tac Foe. I'll be your commentator for the match, which is scheduled to begin right now, but am waiting for the racers to go live. I am familiar with Lake Hope. Andrew Muir, I believe, is new to the Condor scene. As far as I know. Which is exciting. Uh, they currently have a record of 3-3. Three and three. Best win of 14-14. Average 15-11. And this is Lake Hope's first race of Condor. Just a good reminder that racers can join or leave during any time of the season. And it looks like, yeah, Lake Hope was late entry, which is just fine. Get them situated. Sorted out. Um, okay, Lake Hope's readying up, but, like, can you even see your opponent? Did I type in the right thing? I think I typed in the right thing. Oh, there they go. There, there now we see him. Okay. Okay, here we go. Switch it. Switch it and get it going. Uh, I think I fixed replays so if we get any opportunity for that we'll test it out live heck in OBS updates and whatnot all right racers are ready up here we go countdowns on Of course, this will be a match of three. And uh, just like every other race in season 14, the current shovel is banned. Along with the boots of lunging, leaping, and the axe, the shovel, or uh, the ring of courage, however, is still very much in effect. And it's a very good ring to start out on. Both racers gonna do that. Uh, if Blake Hope finds it. Whoa, okay, this 1-1 one, one was great. It's got Obsidian Rapier. Blake Hope's gonna heal up with the Holy Water and they might miss the Courage, but don't need to do the rocket. Yes, Rapier's still pretty great by itself. And both racers are gonna find an obsidian torch as well. So that torch is interesting because along with all the other obsidian items, it's light radius is affected by your coin multiplier. However, it's aggro range will always stay as the smallest, which is kind of unique about it. Extra heart container for Lake Hope, but Mirror's already going to be in the core rift. Has a bomb to get into phase two. Oh, but takes a hit there from the drums. So going to lose their flawless. Courage is one of the most awkward rings in the core rift fight. And there you have it. Back to 1-1. One, one. Now they can get that uh, obsidian rapier, though, if they can find the blood shot. Lake Hope got their uh, luck charm. Using the bomb to get into phase two and going to get the flawless victory. We end the zone two first. Check in purple because we already have a weapon. Going to get the ring of shielding. So 
One free hit without taking any damage. We can use that offensively or just as a, oops, I got hit type of ring. Mir gonna go for the throw kill and gonna get it. So a blood drum gonna be added to their build. We'll see if they go back for the rapier. There's a heal spell. Lakehope's able to just buy it. I would just buy that fear scroll too. You can use it down the road as uh, another easy shop get or panic button, I guess. And there goes the shield. Gonna lose it in the mosh pit. And, and Mir is gonna go for the rocket build. I'm a fan. Doesn't make core riff any easier, but Makes moving around the levels a lot easier. Deep lose your zone to boss. Lake Hope making it safe for the checkmate. I imagine checking purple again. Maybe for another ring? Ring of Charisma. And into zone three. Round number two for Coral Riff and Mirror. Looks like it's much better set up this time. Oh, careful here. Yeah. yeah. Retreated into uh, the tentacles and gonna lose their flawless. But gets through. Lake Hope dealing with a, a couple of clappas. But we'll make it down into 3 2. And with that obsidian torch, they're able to see a good approximation of where the exit is. Finds it right away and will be in the 3-3. Three, three. And looks like Mirror's gonna play some catch up here, finding some trap doors. They're already in the 2-3. Handling the mosh pits really well. Sees another mosh pit or uh, another trap door, but looking around the level a little bit first. Here's a tier three crack wall for Lake Hope. Gonna bomb to get in, and it's a pawn shop. So no worries about covering that up with the clappa. And King Kanga, your zone three boss, has a quake scroll for an easy phase two, if we want to use it here. I would consider it, but looks like Lake Hope is going to do uh, just a bomb to get into phase two. Here's a lock shop for Mir, gonna find uh, Apple, the magic variety. Also found some obsidian armor as well. Let's go with some cool shades, so. Build's starting to come together for Mir. Straight up the middle on deep blues, gets a fast flawless. And an earth spell for Lake Hope. Gonna leave the bomb spell behind, I think. Yeah, that's a good idea. The heal spell is the only health regen they currently have, so. And you're fighting this blue dragon, gonna get dunked. Uh, Could have uh, food buffered there. Oh, wall pig for Lake Hope and the shop. You are, don't go in there. Yeah, unless you're gonna bomb. Cause that, uh, or you could earth in front of that wall pig, but that is, that is some security system for Freddy. And Lake Hope at two hearts. Gonna earth that blade master. It looks like there's a crack wall over here like Hope wants to check out or maybe just filling up their heal spell. Yeah, just filling up their heal spell. There's the blood shop again for Mir. And Lake Hope can really uh, slow play here as well. So should be checking shops, grabbing that extra bomb. Their floaty boots there. But we don't want those in zone five. Those used to be the best boots in the game. And then they came out with zone five. And suddenly they became like very mediocre. <laughs> Another death there from here. Lake up at a heart and a half. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe just take out that blade master. You got fireballs coming at you now. Retreats a little bit, and we'll get done with it. Yeah, almost getting pushed all the way back to the beginning. Makes it out 
Should check this shop. Not checking the shop. I mean, there could be armor in the shop. Could be healing. But gets the flawless victory on death metal. Let me check in purple again. Finds a uh, freeze tomes. Looks like we're saving this quake scroll for a uh, dead ringer. Yeah, now we don't love the floating. We sent it to Hyrule. We disliked it so much. Okay, Lake Hope getting pushed back by this dragon as well. Has a few options for offense, like the Earth spell and what have you, but almost back to full health, the health spell. Another round for Mir and the Blood Drop Keeper. Gets out of there. Not taking the blood drum, uh, just mixed it up with the holy water. Another shop miss for Lake Hope. Ready to finish the seed. Preemptively opening that door, knowing the, the Minotaur would get away. Or something, I don't know. But on to 5-3. Looking for that Dead Ringer fight coming up. They do have that Quake Scroll for an easy phase two. They get Earth to complete that or just line up the, the bell hit. Nice 5 3 exit. And what do we got? Quake that door. Didn't even quake the door. And we'll have a bit of ping ponger here, but should handle this just fine. Well, off the rails now. We got him back on, just a little scenic detour. Yeah, not checking the chests there either. I mean, I don't, you don't have to. If you're feeling comfortable enough with the Necrodancer fight. Well, you can get stuff in there. The lack of armor is a bit concerning. Here's phase two. Necker Dancer had to do a quick laugh into the microphone for the song. Half health for the Necker Dancer. Dad has a flail, so he's relatively safe. Red Dragon on the field. Earth that dragon. Or just kill it. That works too. Looks like Lake Hope is gonna get it though. Dad went clubbing a bit preemptively. And here you go. First loot of the match going to Lake Hope. 10 21 race time. 9 52 in game. GG's. I'm actually gonna refresh Lake Hope here. They're a bit, a bit behind for me. A bit of behind. But GG's. Yeah, looks like they're going to get into the second race right away. get going seeds are the same that's the first hurdle usually easy uh, to jump over that but sometimes people trip up Here we go race number two yeah much better delay now for like hope stack of bombs right away on one one not bad. Another one in the crate. 
hungry crate that mimic and here's our base broadsword oh, base longsword okay my cop's gonna switch to it it's safer than the dagger this early on it's like snaggy i would take out that that blue slime you could get an early early uh luck charm or gigantism there was a shrine of regen to the right that i'm pretty sure lake hope saw and just didn't go to it mirror may may have not seen it they went down right away but like i feel like lake hope saw it <laughs> Maybe they just want to deny that information to their opponent who's <laughs> screen watching every every beat. But yeah, that seems like a pretty pretty bad omission, especially with the bonus bombs to begin with. You can pop a neat you queued up the Kongna song. Amazing. Look at that shop. That shop's great too. I would consider killing for that even. Crown of Thorns, heal spell. Lake Hope might be able to just buy, like, the heal spell, yeah. Oh, well, there's a coupon on the level, but Mirror didn't see, didn't see the shop. Oh, that monkey. Rude monkey. Oh, that monkey's perfect for the luck charm. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> That's the greatest luck charm. Uh spawn i've seen in a moment tactical monkey hug actually <laughs> yeah there's a coupon for lake hope they're gonna heal buffer through that fire and another one one coral riff or zone one coral riff we are gonna bomb to get into phase two and it looks like they're doing this much better with the uh long sword oh looks like no flawless though May have dropped a beat on the way up. Lake Hope's gonna double bomb and get the flawless, so they'll more than likely be checking for a weapon. Bop, nada. And Titanium Cat. So two damage, move, attack, weapon. Not bad. And then, uh,. Going straight to the exits, both racers. You think once they get to level two, level three, they'd want to maybe find a shop. They're not always like the direction of the, uh, the exit though. And here's Mir checking out one. Can coupon the heavy glass? Ah, oh, coupon the shovel. Okay. Yeah, I would have coupon the heavy glass and then bought the other two. Coupon's hard to remember though, being a part of your build. You gotta su subscribe to tier two to your uh, knowyourbuild.com. My cup almost going down there. I was at half a heart for a moment. We're gonna. I'll oh, miss the stair heel as well. Here into deep blues first. Knows they can roll that bat because they got the luck charm. Here's an arena for Lake Hope. Gonna find a second spell. It's that shield spell. Very helpful. And uh, Mir's got all the uh, the red pieces taken off the board, and gonna bomb for the checkmate. Gets the flawless, get their weapon, hits the electric dagger. That's very comparable to a titanium cat. I would like to see Lake Hope getting some heals in here. Uh, they'll be able to go purple. Finds a fireball scroll, so a win on the chest there for Mir, who's also going to pick up a shopkeeper familiar. So that's their bit of regen if they set those up. Lake Hope just behind on 3 1. Looks like they may have wanted to check that red chest. Uh, but gonna move on. Yeah, that's the shopkeeper familiar chest. They'll be all right without it. There's a confusion trap there, yeah. <laughs> and a blue dragon. 
Like hope clearing that out quicker. Not getting confused there. Oh, these offbeat clappers are always terrifying. But both racers on to 3-3 now. Bit of an awkward layout this. Extra bomb grabbed for Mir. Going around that ice rink track. Lake Hope's gonna be into your zone three boss first. It's Kong. Has a bomb to get into phase two. Gonna use it there. But no more bombs now. You can still find quite a few bombs in zone four, but it's always in the back of your head like, oh shoot, I don't have any more bombs. <laughs> Gets the flawless victory. Mirror should have an easy go of it for this fight. Electric Dagger makes it pretty simple. It's great goblin though, being a jerk. <laughs> There's the flawless. I uh, didn't see what Lake Hope grabbed there. Transmute spell. Mirror's gonna pick it up because they don't have a spell yet. There's a conjure shop on level one. Um, Lake Hope gonna go for armor, which I think is correct. A ring for Mirror. Ballet shoes, some armor. Going for another ring. Finds pain. Did they conjure two weapons? Yeah, especially if you're on Titanium Cat. Like, that's a great weapon. And throw on top of that, level one conjurers aren't really high tier weapons. Maybe they thought they could get the electric dagger, seeing how it was in uh, Mirror's pool. A lot of health now for Lake Hope. I'd like to see that shield spell get used. That way you don't have to retreat as much. You can go into your enemies. You got a bunch of health for uh, blood, uh, blood, 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 blood magic. That's what's called. There's a big zap for Mirror. I love that. Finding some extra bombs along the way. Oh, picking up those pile of gold, though. Heals would have been nice there. It took a hit at the uh, entrance of that. And pretty simple exit for Lake Hope on 4-3. Gonna be into Death Metal, your zone 4 boss. Mir getting pushed a bit back by these enemies, going an alternate route. Probably not the one they wanted to take. Watch that wall pig. Yep, yeah, there you go. It's still there though. Careful. Flawless victory for Lake Hope. Gonna get a shield tome now. Or a uh, scroll even. After Death Metal. Mirror keeping the pressure on though. Not the quickest of death metal kills here, but should get into zone five, just a level behind Lake Hope. Wise to skip those chests. <laughs> I doubt Mirror saw knew that glass shop was there. They just wanted to go through, but got caught up in it. The trap door on five two. Lake Hope gonna take it. There's the shield use. Good thing we used it as well. Got petrified. Yeah, Mirror keeps picking up these uh, these gold stacks because of the up bro. But they're gonna take the trap door into 5-3 as well. Lake Hope into Dead Ringer and Andrew's gonna go down. Looks like they got petrified as well. Or just missed a beat there. That was the right side spawn, but we're gonna do whatever this strat is. Use your shield. Or don't. Go clubbing. Use your shield. You're dead now. Back to 1-1. One, one. And we got race number 2.5 in the pipeline. What shield? <laughs> Had the, had the shield scroll, had the shield spell. Could have done left side scoots. Lures are bad. Were they, did they start out as lures? I didn't see the beginning of that fight. 
Okay. <laughs> Medium milk for mirror. <laughs> okay, so there's the uh, the shrine of blood this time. Lake Hope going for the weapon. Um, which is a cutlass, which is fine. Oh, Elan, look what Lake Hope got. Uh, I love the floating. Yeah, I knew you would. I think it's a pretty bad miss for Mir, though. That ring of regen. Well, they will find the shop this time, though. I mean, okay. They're gonna leave. They're gonna just grab the uh, crown of thorns. Or maybe Lake Hope. Yeah, Lake Hope probably wanted this combo. The blood weapon plus crown of thorns. You heal every five kills, which is like all the time. Might as well be every beat. If we can find some damage up on this, it's pretty safe build. Okay, it has the floating, but doesn't use it. You kind of bathe in fire. Retreated to the right there where they could have went up or just parried. And mirror down in the core with first. Gonna be in the lead. Can do a double bomb. Or clear out the tentacles. At this point, maybe just clear out the tentacles. And not go for the quick kill, especially after your third round. Yeah, like, this doesn't feel worth it at this point. This song does, though. Blood shop check this time for Lake Hope. They're switching up their start each time, which I'm a fan of. All right, here's the plan. Okay, never mind. <laughs> here's the plan. You take the blood drum, you get the crown of thorns again, and then you do uh, the half heart blood build. Oh, Mir getting, trying to sneak into that exit. And uh, the skeleton's like, now nah, I'm gonna smash you twice. Send you back to 1-1. One, one. Still kind of think the Ring of Regen's <laughs> the best choice <laughs> out of that shrine. I don't think Mir's seen it yet, though. And maybe after a death or two, they'll start searching a little bit on zone one. Especially if they peek over to their opponent and see what they got. Well, there's that coupon. Yeah, there Mirror sees it now. Mirror getting that ring of regen. They're also going to see the blood shop this time too. Which, it's not good, but we'll see it at least this time. I'll make for an oral easy uh, Coral Rift fight. So I can just huck them throwing stars. Hey, and Caligore and Raiders. Is there another race going on? There was. Biggie Mac versus Tough Buffo. Biggie Mac taking it. Actually, Tough Buffo taking it <laughs> two to one. I read that wrong. Welcome to this matchup between Andrew Mir and Lake Hope. We've had a few deaths this uh, seed. Lake Hope got all the way to Dead Ringer. Had, what? Six hearts, seven hearts, something. Two shield spells. Decided to just go in there, not do any Dead Ringer strat and not use a shield spell and the dead ringer it, it, it ringed them dead so we're still racing floaty boots from here three damage now 
with those. Yeah, there's the throwing stars. Very nice. And they'll find the cat this time, too. This run's looking much better for Mirror. This build's looking pretty solid. I would even consider bombing that shrine for a free hit. Oh, floating over those traps to the exit feels great. Wake up into zone three now. Healed on the hot coal, I think. Do you take damage and no, you get the iframe for healing, right? And yeah, it has time to check these shops, so I like that. There's heavy plate, fireball, and hit. Yep, there you go. Nice, nice, heavy plate. No iframes? Oof. Feel that heavy plate, Lake Hope Cat, blends into the floor. Sneaky kitty. Mirror down to one heart. But Ring of Regen gonna bring them back up. Misses the heavy plate that Lake Cope. No, wait, that was in zone three. Never mind. Uh, we'll be into deep blues. Uh, backing up a bit here. Taking out the red pieces again. That's kind of what Mirror did last time, too. Lines up the, uh, the throwing star there. Well done. Good checkmate. Shield spell, Lake Cope. Or parry. There, yay! Shield spell. But now you're in a corner and this is scary. Shield spell again. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna switch off to the monocle. Finds their shop here with a few extra items. And then back onto the earmuffs. King Konga, your zone three boss. Lake Hope set up to take out the line. There's a bottom Henry there. Just checking out the dance moves. There's a good bomb on uh, phase two. Gets the flawless victory. Oh, a few drop beats from here gets them hit twice there. Going with another up shot, bro. And uh, they're clearing out more of the level? Why? Going back for the monocle? Ew. Oh, because they dropped their uh, their beat there. Lake Hope finally finding some damage up for their build. Ring of Pain now and Boots of Strength. So this is actually looking pretty safe. And uh, somewhere in their first run here, Lake Hope found like some gluttony or magic food because they had like seven hearts by the end of it. So should be okay. I say that, but you know, they died to Dead Ringer, so. <laughs> and Mir does make it into 3 3. Watch the hot dog, yeah. Diagonals. Gonna be into the Conga fight. Nice gargoyle bomb there for Lake Hope taking out two annoying enemies. Fall is from here. And Monaco are gonna show them there's some ham in the red chest. I'm gonna gluttony that. There's where all the health came from. Wallace for Lake Hope on Death Metal. Checking red, finds a purple potion. Yo, you drink that for Dead Ringer. And then kill him with your blood damage. Shovel grab for Mir. Gonna get the strength shovel.
So, plus one damage. Floaty Boot's actually really, really good in Zone 4. Don't gotta worry about goo or traps. Don't worry about this Nightmare, though, and Blade Master combo. <laughs> they are annoying. Here's this trap door again for Lake Hope. Shields this time. That was the trap door that Mir died in the first run, I think. Electric hits on that dragon. And we'll get round number two of Dead Ringer in Lake Hope. Let's see if they alter their entrance here. Yeah, it's a right side spawn. Not doing left side scoots, because why? Why would you? Why do a simple and easy strategy when we could just like lure them halfway in the thing, bomb this, and go up? spend all this extra time on this enemy that killed you earlier because you did the same thing. <laughs> on to the Necker Dancer fight. Death Metal from here. Oh, the big bomb got shielded. Not that time. Phase two. Dad with a long sword. Mirror keeping the pressure on here. There's a shield for Lake Hope. Or was that the shield feature? No, it looks like just a shield there. The red dragon, though. This red dragon coming for a fireball. <laughs> Hits both of them. <laughs> the dragon's like, oh, two for, and then died. Lake Hope finally getting the last one and gonna complete this seed. 22.38 race time. GG's. You look at that that 5-2 shop. Hobbs crossbow and courage. That looks like fun. One more race. Let's see if Mirror can get a loot here. It, it appears like Mirror can can do that. Um, they can keep pace with Lake Hope. Like the first run of this second seed, they're pretty much close to each other. I think they can do it, but we'll see. Staying alive will net you a win. Number three. Coming up soonish. Here we go. GLHFs. And we're in it. exit here. Well, Thracer's getting hugged by that monkey. And getting hit by the white skeleton. I 
And there was a conjure on 1-1. One, one. Not gonna have enough money to use it, but that does tell you the blood shop's gonna be in 1-2 somewhere. There's a shop check for Mir. Black chest in there. We'll take the trapdoor down. What was in that crate? Just some money. Both racers gonna do the same maneuver. Red chest on one three as well as a Shriner. And Lake Hope's gonna go for the Shrine of Mystery. Gets a weapon. Looks like a staff. It's a staff. Not terrible. Oh, and Mir bathing in fire. Back to 1-1. One, one. Looks like they're trying to adjust. Get the dragon to open the barrel. The early lead for Lake Hope into Fortissimal. Using that laser. Get up in there. Gets the flaws victory. Very nice Fortissimal fight. And doesn't want the laser. Gonna switch off to Titanium Spear. Here's the Conjurer for Mir. Yeah, it's just hard getting enough money for the first 1-1 one, one Conjurer. You either have to like farm or use some bombs. It looks like they're gonna try to farm here. He still needs a bit more money. Yeah. There you go. Using a bomb to get the hundy and going for a ring, I would imagine. Went for shovel, a battle shovel. So now I think you should absolutely look for the blood shop, which isn't this way. Yeah, they're just gonna skip it. I mean, the, the Shriner's coming up next year too, so. Meanwhile, Lake Hope checking the 2 3 shop. There's a Squaga suit in there. Doesn't have a way to get it, though. It's a bit expensive. No way to kill the shopkeep. So I'm just going to leave it behind. 1 3 shop for Mir. Going to have some glass slippers in it. I'm going to pick those up and move on to uh, the Fortissimal fight. Oh, and Lake Hope just jumped into, like, damage there. Like, had that scenario figured out, but just jumped into it anyway. I think he reset. You don't use a bomb there. Um, let's see if my replays work. Yeah, they do. Oh, there was mud there. Like, just attack up, and yeah. Good uh, battle shovel usage from Mir. Finding some cookies in a barrel. Rolled cookies. And also picks up a teleportation crown. In the nearby shop. Another good battle shovel use. Still on the space dagger, so really needs to do that. Help it out. There's some good stuff for Lake Hope. Getting quartz armor, vanguards, or uh, hargreaves, and a piercing ring. Full mapping as well. We take a shrine of darkness somewhere. Seems that way. I think you just leave here. I mean, yeah, I could go for the uh, extra heart. And yeah, it doesn't have a bomb to enchant. Hey, Miner's Cap, fine for Mirror now. And a Blood Flail. Miner's Cap Battle Shovel combo is really good. See if uh, Mir can utilize it to their advantage. Looks like they want to go down this trap door, but clearing out all the troubles first. 
False victory on Fortissimo for Lake Hope, just as Mir gets into the Conga fight. No chest check there. Was is the weapon bad? It's titanium spear. <laughs> Why didn't we go get it? There's just like a lot of like weird choices in Lake Hope. They just knew this glass staff was coming up and wanted that instead, I guess. There's the miner's cap for Lake Hope. False victory for Mir, gonna switch weapons. Just kidding, because it's a glass harp. We're gonna stay on the blood flail. We're gonna check the shop, because it's right here. Piercing with flail's pretty good. Gonna pick up the torch of foresight. And, uh, finds a ring of might in that barrel. Gonna stand the piercing, which I think's fine. This conga fight's going a bit awkward for Lake Hope. You know, they don't have a bomb to get into phase two, so gonna line up the lasers. Fireball spell grab for Mir in that purple chest. Nice. A lot of time spent on this conga fight, but it does get the flawless victory. Dove charm in the up position. Vermeer. And just flailing away these enemies. Get them out of here. That is healing us as well, so that's nice. Into 3 3. Mind the hot coals here, and looks like we'll be fine. Yeah, Flail doing a real good job for Mir. Grabbing the map along the way, and they'll be into the zone three boss. This is Coral Rift. Phase two. Line up a fireball. Nice. Good staff lineups here for Lake Hope, taking a lot of enemies out with it. And the mini boss. Very nice. These hot coals, though, are super annoying. Leprechaun's gonna get away, but they'll be into the Coral Rift fight. A enchant scroll for Mir. So gonna enchant that flail into Obsidian, which is really great right before uh, this zone, getting that extra damage. We do have the, the piercing on it as well, so that will cut through these Blade Masters. Fireball for Lake Hope to complete Coral Rift. Oh, that's a big wall pig for Mirror. Yeah, smash them cookies. Taking them down to a heart and a half now after the cookie heals. And Lake Hope finds a, uh, a titanium broadsword. There's some first piece of, first piece of armor for uh, Mirror, a leather armor. But Lake Hope's catching up now after that wall pig incident. Both about to be on 4 2. <gasps> Mirror falling to the flail gargoyle bomb trap. Be back to 1 1. Looks a bit frustrated about it. Yeah, flail in zone 4 still has problems, even if you have piercing on it. So Lake Hope sees their opponent goes down, immediately finds a heal spell and a potion. So as long as Lake Hope uh, doesn't mess up the Dead Ringer fight again, we should be all right. I mean, essentially has nine hearts or nine hits with the Quartz Armor. Yep. Ogre gonna smash. Do it twice. Deep lose your zone four boss. Straight up the middle for Lake Hope. Has many transmute options, which is kind of neat. Can't do anything with them. Yeah, 
I get a uh, protection charm out of it. I'll take it. And into the 5 1 exit room. The uh, miner's cap kind of opening a little bit of extra rooms in zone 5, but should be able to deal with it. Extra bombs. We got a total of four now, so Necker Dancer fight looking better. Looks like Mirror's taking a similar route as last time. Some extra hearts for Light Cope. Gonna ditch the miner's cap. Yeah, I don't want it anymore. It's fair. No transmutes, though. There's even two extra hearts in that crate over there. But we're on to Dead Ringer. On the right side spawn. Where's the left side spawn? Left side spawn. Gets it done. No problems this time. Nothing really going in uh, the chests, but can transmute a few times. Gets a shield spell. That'll work. A few bombs. Use the shield feature. And Lake Hope looking to get the sweep. Dragon on the field though. Mind that. Dad getting a weapon upgrade, that's cool. Two hits in on the Necker Dancer. A three. The four. Two more. Lake Hope, gonna get it. A little over 13 minutes. You gotta make sure you see the exit sign before you alt tab there, though. It's technically, you're not done right now. Just a warning. People have lost races because of that. <laughs> you gotta show the end stats for it to be done. So we'll wait for that, but. But either way, it looks like it'll be 3 0. Fun matchup. A few unfortunate deaths. And that's what will happen. Hey, can I type in their room? Oh, I'm not in the room anymore. Yeah, so I think, like, I don't know what the rules, like, how strict they are, but, like, if Mirror finished their run here and showed the end, I think they would win. <laughs> think is how the rules work I don't know though feel free to correct me anyone if you know should I L at Lake Hope Hey chat, how you doing? It's week two of Condor. Bunch of races going on today. Throw the schedule up in chat there. There it is. 9.47. I 
looks like we got a few races coming up in a few hours. Ftet versus GPA and Dragonic Pic I always want to say Dragon Pixel, but it's Dra a Dragonic Pixel versus RJRI. That'll be on Waski's channel, which is pretty cool. First frame of screen fade. Okay. Gotcha. I suppose that makes sense um, because sometimes like it takes a moment for the, the run summary to come up, right? Uh, but that's it. No, that's the wrong. Well, sure, fine. I'll be right back. No, don't cut scene. I want to talk. The bad bun. The bad bun. Um, I'm gonna take a quick break. And then I'm gonna come back and we're hopefully going to complete uh, that voice of cards game. So back in a little bit, chat. Okay, here's here's some clips now. Oh, big fish here. Oh, is this a... Wow, B? I got all three. All right. We got B's, Restless, and Old Bitey. This is like a AJ Dream and a Reddit BM. Okay. <laughs> that level had everything. Pack it out. Yo, that's a lot of money. Worth. What the? about to destroy these two. <laughs> Poor two. Oh, Ochre has trapped themselves a few times here. Okay, this is... That works, I guess. <laughs> sure. One at a time, bring them into your goo trap. Using their potion, though, to get it done. There's your bonk brigade, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks really cool and the music is really fun. But uh, the story just doesn't let you breathe. And all this, all this I want to do is like go around and explore the planet. But it's just like, no, go here. No, go here. Now here's... 20 minute cutscene and then immediately go here oh this crevasse that looks like the way in it kills you and it's <laughs> you stay trapped in there <laughs> until you're like am i dying and then you just reset that was weird i don't know if i was just like screwing up the <laughs> controls or something but i don't think i was i mean i play video games <laughs> handles it flawless victory breath of the wild in it as well uh i can't tell what strat this is based off of this one slide <laughs> um this looks fine gonna be into the necker dancer fight okay <laughs> what even happened <laughs> and a ring of peace right away on two one Oh, Humming Bee! Oh my gosh, got so lucky there. <laughs> got a hit on the Shrine of Pain and a uh, Titanium Rapier drops in their hand. Sure. That's, yeah. That's how you do it. Oh. Why didn't that kill him? <laughs> Maybe something hit him on the side? Yeah, hit a hired help. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. 
it. No way! <laughs> Played. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> <What? laughs> okay. Ghost attack. Nice. <laughs> oh, are you talking about switches, twitches, twitches, switches meme? Where it doesn't know which game I'm playing? Oh, this looks terrifying. Okay, got the tank. Do not curse knife a turret. We gotta go get that guy. Got him. I take one hit for the, uh, the journal. There. We got all the worm things. The shopkeeper at the exit. Oh yeah, that's right, Meat Boy. Sorry, Meat Boy. <laughs> so you're like, bam, bam. Bam, bam, he don't see me. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he saw me. <laughs> of course. Dead wars? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No! <laughs> I've been deleted by my Tron disc. I just lost five items is what happened there. <laughs> nice, wow. Excellent work. Everyone gets the... <laughs> and I'm gonna roll for it. <laughs> oh shit, hello there. Finding uh, a ring of pain after another conjure there. Oh, Zello went down. I did not see it. It was. Yeah, exit bombs are quite cruel. Uh oh. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Uh huh. Jesus. I want to lower the bridge. Let me push the button. What? <laughs> that bridge was like magnetically. Ah! <laughs> this game is good. I don't need help. <laughs> I thought my greeting would stop him. It didn't. Knock it off. Uh oh. No! <laughs> I 
I got, I got poisoned. <laughs> we having fun? Climbing gloves! Turn off! Alexa! Play Despacito! No! She heard me! <laughs> Don't do that! <laughs> She's like downstairs and around the corner. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do either. What even is happening? Alright, we're back. Thanks for hanging out. Those of you who have stayed... Uh, hey, uh, Square Enix gave me a car, uh, a card, uh, gave me a key for this card game. Share with all you. Uh, we played a lot of it yesterday. I think we're on the final bit of it. Coming up here. We'll see. Um, I want to change the table. I don't like... I don't like this table. Do default. Okay. Continue. Watch a recap. So you know where we're at. <laughs> Free anime. Movies. Yeah. Okay, so that was the final maiden group we met. So we have all four uh, maiden tokens, whatever. So now we can go back and figure out what the heck we're doing with them. Healing some heart scars, maybe. I don't know if we need to talk you to these hear guys. Voices inside. Gree appears to be holding a meeting with the other villagers to ease their troubled minds. You'd better not interrupt. Okay. Guess we'll just go. What is the next objective? Head to the altar of the second. Okay, so. We will head there then. Um, I did get a new skill. I did not equip. Um, it is called Starlight Veil Six. Deal twenty attack damage to all enemies. Yeah, let's throw that in there. The light damage. Go. 
Your adventure began when you met Lack at this very altar. The self-proclaimed spirit told you that Laddie could become a maiden if you brought all the maiden's relics back to this spire. The memories of the other maidens now reside within the relics as pure light. According to Lack, only a single heart scar remains. You need only heal it with the relic's light. Okay. Corkle, corkle, I'm gonna run, done, done. What? <laughs> Flashbang. With the sound of Lack's familiar chant in your ears, you once again enter the heart's domain. You see a door within the blinding light. Not long after, you hear a voice. Beyond the door lies Laddie's unconscious mind, the voice says. Though you have no idea what that means. What's that mean? The voice then delivers a warning. A half-hearted attempt will only end in heartbreak. Okay. Would you still see what lies? Yeah. The sound of a begrudging sigh fills the air as the door opens. More sighing. <laughs> Pass the door and make for the land of woe. The there. mysterious voice echoes in your head as your consciousness fades. Uh, I passed out. When you awake, your mind feels hazy, and you find yourself wondering what that voice from earlier was. Laddie, noticing your distant gaze, looks at you in concern. Laddie! You recall the voice telling you to make for the land of woe. With no other leads, you decide to do as it says. The land of woe, 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 woe. Okay. Okay. Ow. Son of a... Just knuckled my thumb on my desk and it hurt. I always think that's the leaving. It's not the spirit realm. After healing multiple heart scars with the help of the maiden's relics, Laddie's heart's domain is starting to return to normal. That's good. As you gaze around, I think your eyes become transfixed on an area in the east that is still shrouded in black. Suddenly, the onyx stela begins to move and goes off into the distance. I think the land of woe is that way, Lack says. You decide to put your faith in its words and chase after the stela. Hello, oh, the spirit is by her looking at us. You're going to make me walk all the way around. Good. I am ready for. Yeah, I was just about to put it into fast mode. <laughs> I guess I was like, I'm ready to fight more stuff. I guess. Fight him off. Okay, let's see what the big thing is. The new attack. You can do. Starlight Veil. All right. Teamwork makes the dream work. I'll buy it. Although we do take hits when that happens, because uh, of the charge. What 
is this is this bog? What is that? Yeah. So. Hope you win. I think there's a heal uh back in the main area. So we'll go do that after this fight, probably, because they're well, only one will attack us though. Oh, the miss! Never mind, we're gonna keep going forward. Teamwork. Well, we gotta uncover it all, right? Him off. Okay. Uh, just do the same thing. I'm trying to decide if I wanted to do something else here. I moved twice. That's a danger skeleton. I will poke it. Uh, don't kill him. Against of the light. Mm. Alright, let's go back and heal. Because, ouchies. In Burdenburg. That felt more fair with allowing me to move. Magnificent. Magnificent. Flower? Yo, Lenic raid. Holy heck. What's going on, everyone? Welcome, Raiders. Uh, oh, I am sealed. That's a problem. Hey, everyone. We're playing uh, Voice of Cards, The Forsaken Maiden, which is a JRPG that came out a few, a few days ago. Star Sector. Oh. Check that out. That sounds cool. Welcome, everyone. My name is Tic Tac Foe. Uh, this is a bit of a relaxed JRPG type game. Uh, as you can see, everything is is cards. The whole story and everything's um, shown through cards, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, what thing did I just unlock? No, this thing. The gazing. Watching kids climb trees and explore caves and whatnot makes me want to go on an adventure of my own. All the adults stop me and tell me it's too dangerous. I guess I'll stay right here till I die. <laughs> yeah, I saw you doing some stalker earlier this morning. 
I was lurking in for a little bit while I was getting stuff done. Oh. <laughs> <We're done. laughs> this does not look like Stalker. <laughs> that looked amazing. <laughs> to catch you up on what's going on in this game uh i'm on the finalish mission i'm clearing this overworld which is inside one of our characters mind and we gotta fix a heart scar so we'll see what that's all about you managed to catch up with the onyx stealer just where do you think you're going, you ask, as you give it a tap? When... Flashbang. The Stila transforms into Queenie and Blight. Wow. Queenie, who appeared on her head for reasons unknown, <laughs> tumbles to the ground with a yelp. It is not randomly generated, no. It's, it's pretty much telling a story. Um... It's the second game in the series, although I don't think they're related. Um, and it's really cool. Like, it's super charming the way the cards are animated. The story's interesting because it's by... What's his face? Yoko Taro, who did the Nier Automata stuff. Um, so it's kind of like a dark story. Uh, unfortunately, what's dragging the game down is the JRPG random battles. There's just too many of them and they're not interesting. A concerned blight helps the maiden sit up. It seems she can't shake her misfortune even in this world. But uh yeah, we're we're pretty much sticking around to finish the story, which I think we're coming to a conclusion soonish. But you soon know that the Onyx But you know that the Onyx maiden <laughs> died in childbirth. You suppose that these two are just illusions made by Laddie's heart. And the VO, that's the fourth time we've heard the VO screw up <laughs> and repeat a line. So it's a little less unpolished than the the first game. I would recommend playing the first voice of cards. Uh, this one's a bit harder to re recommend. All right, Land of Woe. The land of woe is an abyss of anguish. It is a pit of darkness into which sink her deepest, darkest desires. Oh. Deep, dark desires. My, what a curious little desire you have with you, an elderly woman remarks. Something about her strikes you as strange. Lack, suddenly on the opposite end of that woman's stare, angrily retorts, my name's not Desire. Uh -huh. The woman explains that the queen has ordered all her subjects to keep black shadows called Desires as pets. Only with greed can you proceed, she tells you, before okay. mysteriously vanishing. Her enigmatic words leave you with nothing but questions. To find answers, you know you must explore the area for yourself first. Okay, explore the land of woe. So, we gotta explore this entire. Oh my gosh, this entire card deck. Uh, this is a big map. Uh, hopefully, we don't have to fight along the way, but I imagine we do. Yep, enemy appears. Um, I'm playing with a speed up option in the game just because these fights take forever if you don't the darkness sure so some of the audio is a bit off teamwork makes the dream work but essentially you have um this gem pool on the left you gain one each turn and then there's some skills to make you gain more. And then at the bottom here, these attacks have different costs. 
for cards, and you do the fightings, and you do the wins, and all that fun stuff. JRPG play, uh, flare and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, these just... Uh, world... Random battles aren't that interesting. They're not that challenging. They're, they're every two moves, it seems. Um, but like the actual boss fights are a bit more interesting. Stuff actually like happens and you have to actually like plan out your turns and stuff. Teamwork. Um, and like the first game has these random battles too, but it didn't feel as intrusive as these. Treasure. Middle treasure. Chunky gold. It looks like we got four corners essentially. Ooh, secrets. It's like essentially I can just do the same attack for each enemy combination here and it doesn't matter. It's just kind of like feels like a waste of time. Teamwork makes the dream work. But yeah, JRPG. More treasure. Supreme solve. Not bad. But the music's fun. Like I said, the card animations are really charming. The story's interesting. You see a man holding a mirror. I think so, evil. Hand. Behind him, I don't understand it anyway. a dark <laughs> shadow. Once he notices Laddie at your side, he grows angry. How dare you walk beside a woman? He rages. Whoa. Oh, I guess we're fighting him. And. Fight. So these, so these have a little more HP than previous enemies. Let's do something else then. How many do I have? Six. Let's just do this. This does not what I want. Oh, the crit. Unfortunately, my fourth character all the way on the left has like the lowest speed ever. So he always seems to go last, but he hits like a truck, so. Is helpful. enough to kill a little bit of a, a mini boss here nothing too crazy I enjoy the enjoy the uh, the dinners and thanks for the raid Lennox laddie leveled up power of dreams generate one gem at the start of Wow that's a great skill okay thanks oh. the shadow melts into your body oh his desire gone, the man glares at you with disdain. Greedy jerk, <laughs> he scowls. I've actually never played Nier Automata. I have it. I started it, but never continued. So I might have to, like, check that out eventually. Everyone seems to love it. But, like, the opening two hours of it did not grab me at all. Hellfire. 
Add value of three rolls, stack damage. Uh, nope. Not enough to kill it. Teamwork makes the dream work. Uh oh. Okay. Good miss. I'm actually going to heal here, so. Let's do that. And then. Oh, she didn't get it. It's fine. Bit of a drag, yeah. I, like, didn't understand what I was getting into either. <laughs> I was like, is this an action game? Is this like a bullet hell game? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> but yeah, I was, I was, just tried the first two hours and then just didn't go back. So I might have to just do that. Um, sure. Pretty good first hit. The crit help. Yeah, starting with... I could start with five uh, gems, I think, if I actually equip my... <laughs> Give my companion some equipment. I think I probably should have at the beginning. I always forget I can do that though. So that'll give me another gem. And uh, defense, health, speed wouldn't be terrible. Plus we're fighting a bunch of dark enemies, so do dark staring. A woman looks inside of her wallet and sighs. Behind her looms a dark shadow. So much sighing in this game. The woman turns to you and exclaims, I am sick of being poor. The shadow behind her then leaps at you. Ah! Fight him off. Fight him off. Um... Sure, hurricane. Oh, they're weak against wind. Dang it. Oh, the big six! What? You missed! <laughs> okay. Also, the stats you see on screen, like, don't represent what's actually happening, which is a bit annoying. Um, so, like, the attack is supposed to be, uh, you know, greater than the defense, and then you do the remaining uh, damage, but that's totally not what happens. And then there's, like, behind-the-scenes dice rolls that also happen, so it's like, I don't even pay attention to them. because it's not a reflection of what's actually going to happen. It can just kind of give you an idea of like, hey, this, this mob can hit hard, and this one has a lot of defense, but that's about it. The shadow melts into your body. Her desire gone, the woman glares daggers at you. How greedy can one person be? Oh. She asks with a scream. You hear what sounds like a lock coming undone. Uh. Perhaps a door has opened somewhere. Yeah, that's something I've heard of too. You filled the riots. Um, is that there's like a bunch of different endings to that game too? Which is cool and I like, but at the same time it's like, I don't want to play the whole game again. 
But some people do, so that's cool. Is this? No. Oh, Callow. This? No. The Hex the Ryan. Unsettled. Right. Laughter is contagious. If I want to induce giggle fits in everyone else, first I must work on making myself smile. Strange. Everyone's laughing but me. I guess it isn't so contagious when it's contemptuous. Oh. 26 endings. <laughs> God dang. I just remember watching uh, Slackaholicus do like a ending that involved fighting the credits <laughs> or something. And I was like, what is this game? The door exudes a sinister aura. When you touch the handle, the aura dissipates and the door opens. Okay. What was this other way then? I guess I'll go up. So we got alternate paths here. It would seem. This is the true ending. <laughs> um, I would like to heal, so. I'll just pump you up. Pump up the jams. It's the DLC. <laughs> Good. Flame rush. Wow, heal spells. Okay, game. Get one shot. <laughs> Feels good. Teamwork makes the dream work. You say, though. Deadly poison. Deadly poison gets two dice rolls. The unsettles enemy story. I don't find these stories that interesting, so I'm just gonna skip. The Burn. shadowy desire suddenly leaps at you. Okay. Fight him off. Yay. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. let's pump you up. I would like. Hmm, what is there are. Sure, whatever. Oh, we got the crit too. Then you do a charge. And they get their turn because my guy is slow. Rude. That's right, it's six now, not five. Well, rip. Rip that plan. attacks. Alright, I'm gonna go another round just so I can get a heal. And then we do 
Dock Slash. The Sixer. And the crit. Overkill. And we're at full HP. Out of here. Just as the shadow dissipates, you hear a door unlocking in the east. It sounds like a new path has opened. Is this the east? Your hand is repelled the moment you take the handle. It seems you won't be getting past <laughs> without defeating another shadow. It's not the east. Here we go. The door exudes a sinister aura. I'm assuming there's going to be like the handle, three more levels of this before we actually get to like whatever we're trying to get to. Door opens. Heart scar or whatever. Happenstance cards. Water defense. Almost got work makes the dream work. One on the left. Do you have a group attack? I do not. I probably should have just killed the one on the left. You gonna go first? Wow. Just stab him, I guess. Alright, calm down. There seems to be some, like, back end thing, too, that if you're getting a kill shot, it'll just give you a crit anyway. Because it happens all the time. So you get that extra little animation. Which is fine, but it. Also, like, more time. Oops. Being stuck in animations. There are all three of them. Yeah, I like starting with five gems. That's crazy. Teamwork makes the dream work. Um, let's just do some attacking, I guess. Nug. I'm getting a lot of those. I'm probably not going to ever use. Don't hold back. Yay. Butterflies versus butterflies. My butterflies win. Two fighting. Fortune favors the book. See, like, these fights aren't exciting <laughs> or meaningful. Whoa, quality, I'm gonna solve all your problems. Not bad. The shadow glares at your party. Then suddenly lunges at you oh God. as if to swallow you whole. Don't do it. They got more HP than the other ones. There goes half of it. Teamwork makes the dream work. Let's do a charge. Nice miss. Whatever. Uh, do this. And then hit him with the starlight. Dead. All the XP. 
you hear a door click. Just as your battle ends, you hear the faint sound of a lock coming undone. Okay, nothing. It seems a door somewhere has opened. The door exudes a sinister aura. When you touch the handle, the aura dissipates and the door opens. Clear right, I guess. Where they're facing. Like I just want to get to the story bits. <laughs> get there as fast as we can. Oh, Reptance. Cool. An enemy appears. Double the experience. Oh, why are you going first? Why are you going first? Maybe you should go first. <laughs> Ooh, treasure. It's my elixir. Hey, Bojo. Uh, the story's still interesting, but... Getting from one story moment to the next takes forever. Another door with an ominous aura. Which is the problem. You walk away, knowing what you must Oh, there's a middle section. Uh, right now, fight. we are in Laddie's mind again, looking for the quote-unquote final heart scar. And um, I think I, I think it's the last chapter, and then there's path. probably an epilogue. You ready your weapon? Prepared to KP. fight. Um, 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 what am I doing? Uh, let's get our big boy attack. How about? This is your favorite story, the the final one. Oh, a crit hurricane. Um, I guess you can just slash. Oh, you go first. Nice. Weak against the light. Two fight is one. Oh dear. The gaze. The seal. Off oh, the beam. Jerk. Uh, might as well heal. One down and a two. Level up. Nice. As the shadow disappears, you hear a door unlocking in the, the door exudes the a door unlocks. Aura. When you touch the handle, the aura dissipates and the door opens. I suppose since Laddie's been leveling up, her speed's getting better. So she's going first now, essentially. I just find this combination of attack works too. <gasps> A dead end. Who this? 
you see a man accompanied by a shadow monster. Just as you're about to speak to him, though, the shadow swallows the man. You start oh, to wonder if all the shadows here were humans engulfed in desire. While you are lost in thought, the desire rushes at you. Alright, let's do the, the big boy attack then. Six. I guess we'll just do this. Uh, it's been fun. I enjoyed the first game more. Two fight as well. Uh, my main problem with this one is the pacing. Otherwise, I've enjoyed it. Oh, the try lightning. There's just too many random battles. It just takes forever to progress the interesting story stuff. Fortune favorite. Where I feel like the first game didn't have that problem until right at the end, <laughs> where you were climbing the lighthouse or tower or whatever that took forever. Temptus, deal attack, plus 10 wind damage to all enemy enemies. I might switch that for the flame attack. After slaying the desire, you hear a noise from the south. It sounds south. like a new path has opened. Just kidding. Uh, skills, please. Um, how about we do this? And then, uh, depending on if I'm fighting one enemy or two, or more, we have the options now. Oh, was there not a dead end there? I swore there was. No. There's treasure up here. The title also kind of like <laughs> spoils a bit of what's going on here. Okay, why do you go first now? I don't understand why they keep switching who goes first. Um, sure. Oh yeah, I owe a bunch of sounders, don't I? I'd rather not. Or uh during the race commentaries. Let's join the treasure, please. Let's join the treasure, please. Rip. Uh <laughs> headphone users. <laughs> that one twice. Our first rare is a Birchkin. All right. Heckin' Birchkin. We'll have to pick up some more commentaries tonight if there are any. Um, I got two races yet to do this week. Um, I'm hoping to do them on Wednesday or Thursday, but I have not heard back from either opponent, so what are you going to do? 
Find dead ends. It's interesting. So this is the first time I think I've seen like these like buffer cards out here. It's like, oh, it could be that way, but it's not. Which is interesting. See, like they they introduce like interesting mechanics here and there, but it's only like for one floor of one part of the story. They're never like expand on anything. Miss. What the miss? yellow eyes on you your party readies their weapons see like i feel like they could have just skipped the random battles and just had these battles throughout this fight or this zone and it would have felt better There's a sixer. Perfect. You find a faint humanoid stain where the shadow once was. Maybe did a, a heal turn. Next fight, we'll do that. Just so everyone's back to max. Ooh, treasure! I'm gonna solve all your problems? No, Supreme. Supreme's good too. I'm waiting for like the final boss to just wreck me too, because that happened in the first game. <laughs> it's like, oh, by the way, this boss is more challenging than anything else you've ever experienced in the game. Have fun. But we'll see. Should be fine. Um, I was gonna heal, but I'm not going to. Heckin' lied. Hey, flannel. Enjoy your lurk. Double the experience. Treasure. Supreme solve. Yeah, we got a lot of items for the final fight or whatever's coming up too, so not too worried. But like I said, they'll probably kick up the intensity of it. Alright, I'll do a I'll do a heal this one. Oh, everyone's poisoned. Cool. Love that. Double heal. Which is maybe pointless this round because we're all probably going to take a hit. I want 
uh, her to attack because she heals. Uh, that's better than where we were. Got a natural leech ability. Well, we're going to the center. Ah! A black shadow bars your path as it turns its yellow eyes on you. Your party readies their weapon. Show them what you got. Good time to get that heal before this. All right, we'll do the big boy attack again. So just charge that up. Give him a hurricane. Pretty sure these things are weak to light as well. What do I need? I need six. Okay. So I can do. This attack's nice because it does a bunch of damage and then we get a defense buff off of it too. Teamwork may Heckin' missed. Fortune favors the bold. God, oh, didn't get him. Let's get the heels up when we can. The shadow once was. Ugh. Yes. Fortune favors the bold. way. Why not? Nice. Large two stone. Generate gems equal to the value of roll plus three. God dang. All right. That's a very good item. Oh, throne room. We'll change the attack speed here. What business do you have in the throw room? Know your place. You can hear the desires ridiculing you. No. Insults. My weakness. You're in the presence of the queen, you fool. You ignore their scorn and continue forward. I am the queen. It looks to be waiting for someone to sit upon it. Huh? Who this? Within the throne room, the queen of woe awaits. Oh, the queen of woe, 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 woe. The queen it's reveals Nega herself Laddie. to be none other than Laddie. Oh, no. She is the undisputed ruler of this domain. Indeed. This world. Never thought there would be any greedier than I in this land. Her voice is husky. Husky. Almost <laughs> as if it had been. Her voice is husky. 
almost as if it had been swallowed by the stormy sea. That has to be like within your heads. They didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Cuz that's the like fifth or sixth one. She tells you that in the land of woe, greed is both grand oh, oh, and glamorous. Oh, oh, oh. For stealing the desires of my people, I sentence you covetous intruders to death, she decrees. Oh my. The impact sends you flying. By the time you look up, you realize that the entire area is covered by a heart scar. Oh no! This looks bad, Blight remarks in a trembling voice as he gets to his feet. Heal the heart scar! Zoop! A shadow larger than any you've seen before emerges from the heart scar summoned by the queen's screams Ow. the shadow roars its voice powerful enough to shake the castle itself before lunging at you oh dear hey shula dame good to see you 300 Come space. on, you got this. Oh, thanks. I got this. Shula Dame's here. We got this. All right. Uh, we want the big boy attack, so we will come back to these ones. Let's pump you up, actually. Uh, that that was a waste um, because the defense up is going to take over. So rip me, I guess. Let's do a charge spell. Just get that going. Look at all them gems. Mm. Let's just let's just hit them. Um, one, two, three, four. Never mind. Okay, we can do this. Yeah, this this the boss music. Deadly poison, nice. Big fan of that being added. No! No, I need him not frozen! <laughs> Shit. Well, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Um, well, your attack will work then. Lightning. I tried looking for the music somewhere too online because the music's fun. Even the, the wow, I have so many of these. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, um, here's curse, curse seal. Okay. Um, because the music in the first game is fun as well. All right, five. Okay, so we can do that. But couldn't find it anywhere, and I assume it's just locked behind Square Enix. Don't, don't freeze him again, Slam. Ow. Wow. <laughs> we hit pretty hard. Ah, shit, I need six. Well, this is going poorly. Attack. Oh, big dead. Yeah, this deadly poison is pretty hype. Happenstance. Attack up. Well, that's not good. Um, let's just do a shadow bolt. And then we'll get a heal. Which isn't a lot. Here, let's do this too. We got them. Might as well use them. This feels like a final boss type deal. Albeit, this might be phase one. But I should be able to take whatever hit's coming here. 
Dark damage to everybody. Oh, get missed. Nice. Feels good. All the crit! Magnificent. And then the poison. Yo, the poison carry, though. All things will hit. Okay, let's do, uh... I want to do another heal, but I also don't. But I will. I want to do her double heal, but I'm not going to get enough for it. Crit heals, all right. Magnificent. And then you get a heal from just attacking, which is nice. Magnificent. Not a big one, but it helps. Well, she's dead. RIP! Just like in the real world, she's also RIP. Go for the kill here. I mean, I guess. I'm trying to think of Laddie's attacks. I do a charge, she gets three. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, just Thunderbolt. Ugh. I should have charged and healed. Well, we'll use a self. Just so our boy don't die. And he can get an attack in afterwards. We do another all attack here. Yeah, which kind of figured. Oh, miss! It missed. can't stun bosses, so maybe she just didn't attack there. Alright. No, wait. Oh, it's dead. Okay. Man, that's like the fourth or fifth boss, too. It's like, you don't actually kill it. You just get it down to 10 HP because story or whatever. Batty! You leveled up. Guardian, add five to all. Yeah, pass. Unable to maintain its shape, the gigantic shadow begins to sway. This is where we find out phase two starts, and I'm down one character. This is it, you shout, and raise your sword in sync with Laddie's magic. Oh, in sync. But the queen appears and blocks your attack before it lands. Oh, nega Laddie. This shadow is a manifestation of Laddie's greatest doubts. The queen worries over what will happen to Laddie's heart if that shadow should disappear. Uh -huh. The queen decides to ask you a few questions to dispel the doubts at the heart of the domain's crisis. Uh oh. <laughs> questions. <laughs> Answer me this. What medicine does Laddie hate the most? Uh oh. <laughs> the fr freaking quiz at the end of the game? What? I have used neither of these, any of these. <laughs> oh no. Like I haven't used any of these on her, so how am I to know? Uh, she hates being cured from paralysis. She hates it. I don't know, antidote. Wrong. Yeah. The queen says, how pitiful that you don't even know Laddie's likes and dislikes, she scoffs, <laughs> before moving on to the next question. Uh -huh. Answer me this. What monster does Laddie fear the most? I don't know. When have I ever been given this information? I don't know. Pitiful. Heckin' fish. 
No, no, the queen. How cold-hearted you are not to know what she fears. She chides before moving on. She to fears the next nothing. Question. Answer me this. Who does Laddie hate the most? Oh, dang. <laughs> I think you're not supposed to know the answers to these questions because she liked all of these people. These are the four other maidens. Um, that's just toxic. <laughs> She died in childbirth. She died so we could escape. She actually lived, but was crying. And she died doing the maiden thing. Uh, let's go, let's go with you. Wrong. You have no idea, do you, the queen scoffs? Don't scoff me. The queen's desire to eliminate you is readily apparent. You don't know if there was a correct answer among the ones she gave you. Or do not, do not I fight those things or something? But she has proven her point. Perhaps you don't know Laddie as well as you should by now. Yeah, well, Laddie don't know how to talk. She won't let me read her diary. I cannot leave Laddie's heart in your hands, she oh. roars. That raging voice transforms into a tidal wave that rushes towards you. Tidal wave? Mutiny. And who named us click, 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 click? Swallowed by the wave, the phantom onyx maiden and her attendant vanish. Oh, no. You're pulled under the toe only seconds later. Yeah, so, yeah the two cards on the right are, uh, well, at least the top one is from the first game. I don't know if the second one was or not. But yeah, they used, they reused a few cards, which is whatever. Pull yourself together. Oh, Lax here. What a black. Queenie and Blight have left the party. Lack is now available. Or not. When you come to, you find yourself in a familiar spire. It seems you were expelled from the heart's domain by the queen. Bummer. You see Laddie snuggled up to Lack near the altar. You decide to go check on them. Speak with Lack. I was like, Hey, Lack. Black lies there limply, like a stuffed animal without its filling. Oh, no. The self proclaimed spirit risked its life to save you. If you had been swallowed by the wave, your consciousness may never have returned. No, Lack! What do you say to Lack? Thank you. Don't be so reckless. Thank you. You give Lack your heartfelt thanks for saving you. Snuggles. Lack trembles as it tries to speak. Laddie gazes upon the injured Lack with concern. It's coming. Uh oh. Lack proclaims in a faint voice. And then everything falls quiet. Oh no. An odd energy fills the spire. You place Lack upon the altar and head outside to find the source. Time to boot up, slay the spire, and delete it. Leave the spirit spire, look at signs of strange noise. Yeah, I was kind of wondering if there'd be more to this because there's a few things in the overworld that um, we were unable to go to yet. Is our island being swallowed? The sea falls eerily still, almost as if afraid of something. Oh. You realize that the strange energy you felt earlier is not only in the spire, but blankets the entire aisle. Oh, cozy. Feeling a tap on your shoulder, you turn to see Laddie as pale as a sheet. She points, and when you turn to see what she's staring at, You find oh. your field of vision filled by a monster so big that it pierces the clouds. Oh. It's raging toward you, tearing through the sea as it does. Oh. You can't believe your eyes, <laughs> but you know you can't stand still. We have to evacuate everyone 
you say. Then make for the village. So where? In farm Omega Village. The jump ability has been disabled. Okay. Yes, I'll move twice. No, oh, they wanted me to fight. Looks grabby. Yep. Sure do. Uh, just do this, I guess. Wow, they're faster than me. Okay. Well. <clears throat> like this feels so s pointless. Oh, here's a one random fight before you do your thing. It's like why? Work, work. What's up, Papa Neat? I enjoyed the beginning of your Total War playthrough last night. It uh, confirmed that that game looks really cool, but I don't want to play it. D&D, <laughs> &D, yeah. I was real interested about the whole factions and... Uh, so the beast to end what it they all do and has stuff. finally reared its head, the old man remarks, calm despite the impending danger. Yeah, when you started explaining like trades and not pissing off this person and blah, 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 I was like, nah, I'm, 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 I'm out. <laughs> I don't want to do any of that. <laughs> Aside from the odd crying child, Nothing seems oh, amiss yeah, in the two, village. Two, 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 oh, two, two. Nobody seems the slightest bit I bothered Selznick. by the monster. Yo, it's snowing outside. Big fluffy snowflakes. It's a good day today, chat. Omega Village, which has been without a maiden for years, seems overly accepting of its fate. You decide to speak with the mayor to learn how you might evacuate the people. You only hope he can be swayed. Fricks? No, no. It smells good. It was 68 degrees yesterday, and it's snowing today. That's what's crazy middle of the Midwest is like. Uh, I'm going to sleep in my house first. How about that? Impending doom. Take a nap. Alright, get me out of here. Yeah, there's like a few side missions that I just wasn't able to complete because there wasn't anything to it's do. It's been ages since you've seen the mayor, and yet he averts his eyes the moment you enter. His laddie's dad. Just like the other villagers, he seems to have accepted his fate. He, uh, but why? <laughs> abandoned laddie on an island. <laughs> you have so much to ask him. Why are you just waiting for the end? Can't we evacuate the villagers? What is the monster? What is it? You ask the mayor about the giant monster. He says it is called the Isle Eater. Oh, the Isle Eater. According to the Maiden's myth, the calamitous beast has appeared since times of old to devour islands. Oh. Isle Eater makes it sound like it goes to the grocery store and just slaps all the shelves together so there's no aisles. And then eats them. Why are you just waiting? You ask him why everyone is stubbornly just waiting for everything to come to an end. Because that is this village's fate. Grief answers simply. Okay. You ask him if there is a way you have learned nothing for all your effort. Perhaps feeling the same, Laddie rushes to the village entrance. Laddie? You ignore grief. Who tries to stop you both and chase after Laddie? It seems unlikely that the villagers will flee the island, which leaves you with no choice but to slay the monster yourselves. Okay, head out to sea from the Meg Isle Pier and confront the monster. Sure, on it. It'll be easy. Um, maybe we'll buy some items. Do you have anything new? No, you do, but um, not what I want. Yeah, I have the nice halberd. This just makes me faster, but I lose a lot of D 
defense. Frost mail. That's new. What does that do? Eh. Eh. No. And then they're both wearing that. Okay. No, oh, thank you. I would like um a thing to get rid of being frozen again, though. That was nice. That messed up the entire uh, last bit there. One of these. Omna! Yo, they look so fancy. I want two of them. I want three! I have so much money. And then we'll get three regular ones. One, two, buy. Thanks. What else you got in here? Bomb. Sue stone. Sue stones could be good. Let's buy a few of those. Buy, buy, buy. Okay. Happy all. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm leaving. Go out. The bon vent! We're gonna have to sacrifice it. <gasps> it's close. Alright. Before we start this though, I gotta take a quick break. I'm assuming this fight's gonna be annoying. <laughs> so, I'm gonna take a quick break before it. And then, uh, we'll jump into it. Thanks for being here, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the conclusion of this game. We'll be back in a few moments to do that. So see you then. Next slide, zone one. Oh no. Red dragon, dance at one heart. Sucker dancers are now we're in zone one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna roll for it! <laughs> I was... Why can I... I have to dismiss a character? Uh, for this guy to be here? Oh no! Salt incoming indeed! <laughs> oh, that's really bad. <laughs> A little extra time to look for it, and that might be something that paratrooper misses. How does that work? That looked all sorts of broken on paratrooper side. <laughs> uh, we will uh, check the replay on that. See ya! <laughs> I just, oh no, do I have to still kill that? Come here, I want to god fist you. <laughs> uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> Why though? Oh, you're out of money. Why have we done this? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, the coming's gone. I, oh, because they wanted the ring swap. Okay, I understand. That took me forever to understand. Ogre just took the ring of becoming. They're running with that. Yeah, this is like a big farm. It is like other racers have like a, a 10 acre farm and ribbon graphs out here with a mega 100 acre farm. It's like, yeah, you heard about Christopher Robin and that 100 acre wood. I bought it, I cut it down, and I turned it into a farm. And what did it get me? It got me mapping. Oh. Apparently. It no, 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 no. 
do it. No. No! What the fuck? Uh. Oh, you have to press F. Okay. Oh god. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Why didn't that go all the way down? <laughs> Alright, heck you guys, I'm leaving. Stake cat strats, okay. I'm a fan. They're a double rider though, that's a bit annoying. Yeah, cat knocks you back there. Uh you should shield. You're gonna die, okay. <laughs> Got charge there. Good earth, you're in a tunnel! <laughs> Dead ringer 2-0 oh against these racers. Has the blood drum to get in the face too if they want to save their bomb. Flawless victory for Evtet. Throwing the dagger across the room, hoping for no walk of shame. Squaga, you in that black chest? Oh. <laughs> There's your walk of shame for Evtet. You gotta go pick your dagger back up. You left it on the ground. <laughs> Kick to it. There you are. Come here. Come to me. Whatever, man. Give me that. Ank. What? Olmec curse me, I guess? Excuse me? I want to lower the bridge. Let me push the button. What? <laughs> that bridge was like magnetically... Ah! <laughs> this game is good. That's not good. Oh, hi. Uh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm the prize. Almost blocked it. Ah! Um, it's fine. my first heart kill. That's not what I wanted to do either. What even is happening? Uh -huh. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Job chat. What? Sure. <laughs> okay. What's? I gotta beam them, and then I gotta get this somehow. Oh, negated. Nice. All right. So I need. Yes, hologram, pog. Uh. 
<laughs> He's still gonna kill me though. It's not enough. <laughs> oh wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah! <laughs> Way to go, Tic Tac. That was pretty epic. <laughs> of course. Daggers? No, 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 no! <laughs> I've been deleted by my Tron disc. I just lost five items is what happened there. All right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're back. Thanks for hanging out everyone. What? Oh my god. He bounced up and exploded. That's some bull. <laughs> That's some bullshit. <laughs> Pirates were cool. Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? All right. Pirates are cool. Let's do the thing. See what happens. Gonna take some meat out the freezer for dinner tonight. Gonna make some shepherd's pie. I'm excited. Um, let's take some inventory here. So, key items. There's all these cards. One, two, three, four. No, five, seven, eight, five, six, one. What? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't quite understand what's going on with these. Um, it seems like there's different cards for different maidens. And these have to do with what ending you get. At least they did in the first one, I think. Thank you, something else. Okay. Uh, we're not going to use potatoes. On the shepherd's pie, we're gonna use a squash. Bold of you to assume it was gonna be potatoes. Something, something. You and Laddie board the Bon Bon oh, oh, oh. and point the prow toward the Isle Eater. The calamitous beast towers before you. Its sheer size makes you realize that there was truth to the myth. Oh no. To save the village, you have no choice but to fight it here and now. You know it's reckless, but still grip your sword tightly. <sighs> Good luck. We've come to help. Oh, who? Whoa. It's the red maidens. Maiden and protector a light flashes in the sky and two figures appear the crimson maiden lavia and her attendant gladia yeah, lavia needs Hero's to die Dominion. yet they claim to have seen the monster during a trade expedition and rushed over you were joined unexpectedly by the crimson maiden and her attendant with them you make for the monster's head and raise your sword up to the sky. It'd be cool if I could equip them with some rings before the fight. But, alright. Yeah, the red armor guy is pretty cool. Alright then. It's a lot of HP. Alright. Now to rid the world of this calamity. Yeah, easy. All right, so I guess we'll charge spell. I forget what their attacks are. The red friends. I mean fire, but you know. Okay, so we're going to take out the tentacles first. Bisecting blade, scorching carnage. Deal 25 fire damage. Roll greater than three. Um, I want to do the big boy attack. 
So we'll just start out with this. I need six for that, I think. So we'll, see, we'll just start with that. Epic start. Solid one. Got the crit, though. Fortune favors the bold. Okay, nice. Hit him! Wow, the armor guy's slower than my guy. <laughs> That's crazy. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yep. All right. More attack for you. I can't wait to kill these tentacles, and then he just has two more. <laughs> Shadow Wave. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a hit. Um, all right, charge spell. So I need that. And then, uh, you, my friend, it's time to use some of them Omnisolves. <laughs> and we're at five, so I don't get to use the Starlight Veil again, but that's fine. Um, let's focus down this guy. Attacking him because of the taunt, so that's good. Maybe I just keep doing that with him. No, don't do it! Ah! Oh, Rallisis. And three fire. Um, I guess heal. Because I think they'll still attack him, even though he's paralyzed. I don't know. Yeah. Ow. Um, let's do unparalyze. I wonder if that gets rid of his defense. Okay, nice. Flame rush. One down. And then another one popped up. Please no. Ow. Survive! Oh, um... Solve it. Supreme! Like, this is the first fight I've actively had to use items. Which is crazy. Add five to own attack for 99 turns! Sure! <laughs> oh, what the hell? For 99 turns. Charge spell. All right, I need five, so just get a slice going. Wait, I need six, but I get one. Okay, so that's fine. Six slicing. Get that defense back. Um, 
I'll just keep using provoke. <laughs> just natty tens all day. Should be able to take out this tentacle and then we can start working on our boy. Um, two and three, yep. Ooh, five. I might not even need to use the three, so I won't. Just take him down. Very good. Okay, we'll give him a heal. And start attacking. Fire Slash. Fire Rush. Trying to get through that armor. It's fine though. Um, let's do a charge spell. I'll give him a potion and then do another flame rush, I guess. Waiting for that all attack again to just destroy us. Can't wait. No! For 80 turn. Oh, wait. Re what? <laughs> These boss fights are bullshit. <laughs> Thunder. Weak to thunder. I can't. Uh, yeah, I thought about that too, because um, they have a attack that um, uses thunder, a dual attack, and I was like, I probably should equip that. But I forgot because I took a break. Say la vie. Um, flame rush. Fortune favors the bull. Yeah, he's just paralyzed the rest of this game. It's fine, I guess. All right. Let's use a Sue stone. So many items. Three gems. The large suit stone? Not the red knight. <gasps> the large one. <sighs> okay, so five, I guess. That's two more than we would have had. Oh, he can't use that because he's okay. Well, um. Do a bice. Actually, do a heal because he is. He is in pain. Then I'll do the big boy attack. Starlight Veil. What's up, Ruby Roos? We're fighting the biggest anime monster you've ever seen. And this is its only attack, apparently. Which is just fine. Okay. Happen sense guys. Dice rolled by the allies and enemies all land. Wait, what? Dice rolled by all allies and enemies all land on six. Oh. 
Okay. Um. Trying to think of what attacks I have where that will matter. <laughs> uh, this one, I guess. This one. Okay, so I guess this one. Six. Um, no. Okay, so nothing. <laughs> It helped my one attack, and I think that more helped the boss than it did me. Ah! No matter how fiercely you assail the beast, it doesn't stop it from advancing toward the island. Uh huh. Your allies are fighting their hardest, and yet it's still not enough. It's not enough. Whoa! <laughs> A gigantic cannonball sails through the air. Crushing the monster's tentacles with a muffled crunch. Be like all the card animation stuff is super fun. You see that a single ship has fired the cannonball, and upon it, Greed is at the helm, instructing the Omega Islanders to fire shot after shot at the beast. All right, the uh, Omega Militia is here. For Laddie, For Laddie, the villagers shout in unison. You feel your heart warm at those words. Kill Steel, yeah. You had thought the villagers hated Laddie and wanted her gone. So why would they help you? I mean, if you're gonna die, might as well go out with a fight, I guess. Regardless of the reason, you can't deny how heartened you feel. You and Laddie look at each other and nod. Filled with determination. You grip your sword with renewed strength, determined to cut through the threat, See, determined. binding the Isle to its dreaded fate. Is this phase two then? No. Oh, feed. Oh. Okay, that wasn't. That wasn't bad. <laughs> the defense up's annoying though. Um. In our charge, probably another heal on our tank here. We'll give him a small heal. Oh, he's actually not paralyzed. <laughs> wow. Uh, we have the defense, okay. Almost. There. Dang it, I wanted to do the Southern Cross. Um, do not provoke, I guess. Seems to be working. And yeah, until this. Oh! Only a three. Still like damage to everybody though. Time to omnisolve it. Omnisolve all the problems. Garnage. No. Just a fire slash. Cool. No, I wanted to do the Southern Cross. That's fine. This works. Too. I'm gonna do the Southern Cross. Do it, cause it's fun. And before my boy gets constricted. <laughs> okay. Look at the fun. much damage. <laughs> we'll heal him in case there's like a phase two. Because you'll get the kill here. Unless you miss! Oh, six. Didn't miss. 
crits for no reason. Overkill. The Isle Devourer has been defeated. Time for sushi. <laughs> okay. Nine 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 it. Why don't you? Arr. Together. Together. You manage to slay the calamitous beast and watch as it sinks back into the sea. Once you've celebrated your victory, you and your allies turn your ships in their respective directions and sail off. Okay. What's the catch here? There are no happy endings in these games. You fill the necessary requirements to unlock the Isle Eater enemy story. Monsta. There's still four monsters I haven't seen yet, so like I assume we go back into her mind. An Isle Devouring Calamity, alluded to in the Maiden's Myth, it is said that all who bear witness to its grotesque form will accept the destruction of their islands and begin to pray to it. Because of the actions of the reckless few who defied the coming end, the fiend sank beneath the waves once more as it been laid low or merely returned to its nest in the depths. <gasps> I don't know. Hi, Dad. Grief stands among the blooming flowers in the center of the village. Grief hands his daughter a book. It's the same one that you found in his house. The diary of Laddie's mother. Laddie opens it with an uneasy expression. Her eyes fill with tears as they pass over the words. Something tells me that's not the final Within boss. Within its pages are words of love. A deep and heartfelt love that the previous maiden held for her daughter. It also contains words of anguish at having to burden her own child with the island's fate. Grief tells you that he refused to let Laddie sacrifice herself in the same way. That's why he abandoned you in a cave on an island. <laughs> Your eyes widen in realization. So does that mean? I don't know. The reason everyone scorned Laddie is the reason everyone was waiting for the end is... Grief tells you that a maiden's power comes from her heart. So everyone treated her cruelly in hopes of disheartening her. Uh. I'm so sorry you had to endure that, he says, deeply apologetic. Okay. They knew that if Laddie were freed from being a maiden, the island would be destroyed. It seems like a lose-lose. But all the islanders wished to spare Laddie. Yeah, but they liked Laddie. Even if it meant losing their homes and their lives. Okay. It was all a lie. It was a lie. <laughs> One that the village made Laddie believe for her own uh, good. The lie card. <laughs> Laddie, now knowing the depth of love that her parents and fellow islanders had for her, jumps into her father's arms and cries. It hurts. Oh, she's talking. For the first time, you hear it. The voice that Laddie buried deep within her heart. She speak. A soft breeze blows through the village, like a gentle blessing upon the two of them, and carries countless petals into the sky. Laddie's innocent cries echo through the village amidst the drifting flower petals and the ominous clouds that heralded the end give way to a bright blue sky. Okay. Reanime? Reanime!
tale of new beginning. <laughs> Here's where the real game starts. Thin Omega Village complete. Pals dance above the sky, I found my voice, and my family kept concealed. Laddie gained memories of family. Check on Lack. Oh, Lack! You fulfilled Mr. Grant's flip side, Laddie's flip side. I did beat the Quiddy. <laughs> With the help of the village. And turns out everyone loved us anyway. Um, I'm gonna buy some more of these. I have so much money. I have so much money. Why do I have all this dumb money? Okay. Um, buy two of those. Calamari. Alright, that's good. I've had calamari before. It's alright. It's okay. Um, do I need to rest? No. And that fight wasn't terrible. I don't think it was the final fight, though. We gotta fight Lack now. Lack's like... Now that you've got your heart back, you must sacrifice. Forsaken maiden. Or something, I don't know. You rush to the altar, worried about lack, only to find it lazing atop the altar and yawning. When the self-proclaimed spirit notices you, it immediately changes its tune. Oh, the pain, it groans. Uh -huh. But it's too late. Busted. Lack. For the first time ever, Laddie calls out Lack's name oh. and hugs it tightly, rubbing her cheek against it. Lack's expression reads of surprise, pain, and happiness from within Laddie's arms. It appears all your allies are together once again. Hooray! You decide that it's time to venture back oh, no. to the heart's domain and put an end to that giant shadow. Please let me just warp there. But you mustn't be hasty. Oh, God. Approach the altar only when you're ready. So, okay. Only when you're ready. Once you're ready, head to the thing. I mean, I think I'm ready. I don't know. Wonder Stitch. No turn back time. Yep. His ability is fluffiness. Can I give him? No, it's permanent, which is annoying. Um, I'm going to take her crit chance out and give her something else. Paralysis. Yes, paralysis. Because it's two speed. I don't care about two speed, though. Dark against seal would be good. Dark staring is the best one. Sure. Uh, what did you have? You have the heal. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go! What could go wrong? You turn to look at your allies and receive a stout nod from Laddie. Oh, she's doing the spell. Laddie waves her staff and chants, showing off an excellent imitation of the self-proclaimed spirit. But when she sees your slack-jawed stare, she fidgets. I wanted to try it once, she confesses. Lack, 
his sole chance to shine stolen, chants <laughs> in a disheartened voice, and leads you all to the heart's domain. Silly. Wanted to try a blush, yeah. Thank you. Find yourselves back in the land of woe's whoa, whoa, throne whoa, whoa, whoa. room. Now, it's time to put an end to that shadow. I thought for sure I was gonna have to go through that entire thing again. Finish off the black shadow. I like that these are all in different languages and stuff too. That's fun. Uh oh. So you've made your decision, the queen says to Laddie in a defeated voice. I have, Laddie answers resolutely, having finally weathered the storms of her past. It seems the queen no longer has reason to resist. You decide it's time to finish off the dying shadow beside her. Which has fully healed since we left, I guess. Good. Whoa, saw gems. Oh, okay. This is a cutscene. Oh, Starlight Veil. Vale. Together. Murder? <laughs> Zero experience. <laughs> you get nothing. You defeated that monster and get the is the unfulfilled desire in Laddie's heart. I will fulfill the desire. Her heart to play now over. The queen gazes upon Laddie with a serene expression. The relics in your and Laddie's hands radiate a dazzling light, and the final scar on Laddie's heart begins to heal. Flashback. With the final scar healed, Laddie's heart's domain has returned to normal at long last. All right. Uh-oh. Go on, get, Lack exclaims enthusiastically, and the both of you head off. Where are we walking to? Leave the land of whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to talk to myself. The queen tells you of a secret path at the rear of the castle. She says you can use it to leave the land of woe. Whoa, 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 whoa. I guess. You decide to take the secret path hey, and leave the land. We're going to leave the land. Oh, it's so lovely here now. No more glitch cards. Before your eyes stretches a pure and peaceful domain. The leaves rustle in the breeze and the waves gently ebb and flow as if to show the peace that has come to Laddie's heart. I'm waiting for the bad. Perched atop a nearby hill, Laddie beckons you over. Perhaps she wishes to give you a tour of her own heart. Uh huh. Is that what the kids call it today? Where is Anxiety Town? Okay. You can see white birds flying around the spire oh, in the burps. distance. Your eyes follow the birds until eventually landing upon Laddie's smile, and you reflect on your journey. The first time you came to this place, the entire world was cloaked in black, and Laddie couldn't utter a single word. You were drawn from your thoughts when you feel Laddie tug on your sleeve. She says that there's still much more to see. Okay. 
Erdenberg. Beautiful trees line the restored forest, and butterflies float about as you stroll through, admiring the greenery. <laughs> this, I mean, it's free anime, so. A butterfly lands on Laddie's fingertip. Feels appropriate. <laughs> as you watch her quietly rejoice, you think back on your travels. Plus the whole the whole theme in this game too was that the maiden and their protector have children for a new maiden. <laughs> so when you visited the nearby town, your feelings toward Laddie were already while you're deep in thought, Laddie taps your shoulder. We should be getting back to Lack, she says with a smile. Turn to Lack. Wow, you've come a long way. Would you like to go back now? <laughs> I hate when the GM like breaks out of storytelling. You hasten back to Lack's side in the land of woe. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got Laddie's flip side story. Shall I read it? Fine. You've convinced me. Laddie. A young woman from the shores of Omega Isle, protected by a young navigator. She has lost her voice for reasons unknown. She speaks innocently like time had stopped for her while she was without voice. She can hardly contain herself for her joy and talks so much that the young man sometimes scolds her. Oh, stop talking. <laughs> All right. Nope, one more. Beneath the light of the stained glass window, you and Laddie stand at the spirit's side. Rude. Are you ready? Lack asks. And Laddie nods. I mean, I guess. In the throne room, where her desires once lurked in the shadows, Laddie bears her heart to you. Um, bear. Spelled bear wrong, isn't it? B a r. Nah, I don't know. <gasps> oh my gosh! In a trembling whisper, oh my God. Laddie makes a bold confession. It appears that over the course of your journey, she has developed feelings for you. Oh no! Feelings! But having been born a sacrificial maiden, she suppressed those feelings, fearing they would only be a burden to you. And in response, you say, <gasps> Oh no. <laughs> sure. Laddie stares down at the ground as she awaits your answer. And you decide to respond to her confession in equal earnest. Oh, equal. She gazes we condemned her. <laughs> with wide eyes. With our love. As if disbelieving her own ears. You can see tears threatening to overflow in her eyes. She cried. A transparent light begins to overflow from Laddie's staff. It's as radiant as the glow from the maiden's relics. According to Lack, now that her heart's domain has been restored, she can become a true maiden. Hooray! With that, she can now save Omega Isle. Hey, bye! Your journey's purpose fulfilled. You and Laddie look at Murder. each other with an ephemeral smile. Murder through love. The world we made is full of light and my heart is full. Laddie gains memories of love. Oh. Achievement unlock antique collector. Does that mean I got all the cards? I did not manage to get all the cards in the first game because I skipped two side missions. Collect all the key item cards. Yep, we did it. Amazing. There's something odd about Lack's voice. Oh, shit. And not just that. Cotton begins to spill out from its insides as it takes the form of a human. Oh, shit. Something's not right. When you attempt to speak to Lack, you are struck 
by a tremor large enough to shake the world itself. A little betrayal! It's a trap! The palace begins to crumble, and Laddie is swallowed by the fissure that opens in the throne room. Oh no! Your fingers graze hers as you try to grab her, but Laddie is just beyond your reach, and she tumbles into the abyss. Oh no! Laddie! Oh, free anime. I mean, it's the title of the game. <laughs> Which was pretty obvious after we met the first maiden. Oh. Oh no, they're invading our free anime. Look at this card. We going after her. The furious roiling seas have swallowed all but a small strip of land. The last vestige of a drowning heart desperate for rescue. Oh, rescue. The heart's domain is but a shadow of its former self. Devastated by the awesome power of the tsunami that nearly swallowed it whole, lacks transformation. The quake that threw you to your knees, Laddie, as the earth swallowed her. You shake your head to free yourself from the harrowing visions. Laddie, you have to find Laddie. We must find Laddie. The wind changes direction so abruptly. You can't help but feel it's telling you something, urging you to the northwest. Laddie was removed from the party. You don't say. Oh, Lax flip side. See, this is cool. Like the the messed up cards on the table too. Like they could have done a lot more with that type of stuff. I feel like. Creature resembling a charming stuffed animal calls itself a spirit, but whether its appearance is true form or something wearing some kind of headgear, no one knows. Whoa! Not a young girl's hand inserted into a stuffed toy, but a young girl growing from the stuffed toy. Oh god. The appendage <laughs> undulates, pulsating like loose, uh, and okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, yeah. Tells a little bit more about just the card face. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's the darkness we are all missing in the last 30 minutes. You stop before a gash in the earth filled with rushing muddied water. You see no way of crossing to the other side. In an instant, a bridge appears over the surging rapids. <laughs> Sorry, Magna. You catch sight of a figure <laughs> on the opposite side of the chasm. Is this their handiwork? <laughs> IRL blush. Oh, mom! A lone woman approaches you as you alight from the bridge. She bears more than a passing resemblance to Laddie. What will you say to her? And you are. Are you Laddie's mother? The mysterious woman merely smiles in response to your query. At last, she speaks. Her voice is soft and calm. She informs you that she is the former maiden of Omega Isle. Omega. Which makes her Laddie's mother. Oh, put that she together. She studies you for a time. 
A sense of relief plays across her face as she whispers, Yes, I can trust you with her. Oh. The woman begins walking. Oh, bless me. Slowly enough that you believe she means for you to follow. Might she be leading you to Laddie? Does she join the group? I ain't following no one. Well, I guess it's like the only way to go though. Auto saving. I hear birds. <gasps> What's this way? It's Burdenberg. Tempting though it may be to wander, this isn't where you're headed. Oh. So you turn around. Rip Burdenberg. Headed back to Anxiety Town. Laddie's mother speaks of her daughter as you walk down the road. Laddie has long felt isolated, she says. Having succeeded her mother, only to be driven from the village. Traveling with you, however, taught her how to open up once more. You've saved my child, oh. and I cannot thank you enough, she says with a warm smile. Uh -huh. See, like, they could have done this in the earlier chapters instead of having a random battle every two moves. So let me move amongst the cards and tell the story. Oh, can't go there. It's more interesting, like, exploring these cards layouts than it is doing the fights. Laddie's mother stops and extends a finger northward. Laddie cries out for your help from the spire, she says gravely. Uh, time to slay the spire. You see a towering, crooked structure in the center of the heart's domain. You begin walking toward it, praying all the while that no harm has befallen Laddie. Laddie! Laddie's a fun name. Nope, don't want to go to town. Fine. Okay, didn't say anything. I thought it would, maybe. You see a very familiar face Father. when you arrive at the spire gate. Oh, thank goodness you've made it, Greeth says with no small amount of relief. All surrounded. That relief, however, is short lived as you take notice of countless eyes peering at you from the shadows. Laddie's parents stand between you and the shadows, urging you to press on ahead while they buy you time. They square up to face the encroaching darkness. Shoulder to shoulder, they look like the many maidens and their attendants you've met along your journey. Chest tight with sorrow, you trust them to their task and fight your way into the spire. Stomp, 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 stomp. A twisted version of the spirit spire looms before you, emptied of the memories of your many visits. Spooky noises. You hear a wail of anguish as you push the heavy the whispering. door open. Was that Laddie? Yes, it must have been. It's all right, Laddie. I'm here, you say in a soft, soothing voice. Laddie's gaze meets yours. 
Her anguished, fearful expression gives way to relief. The two of you embrace, as if trying to forget the short yet all too long time you were forced to spend apart. Laddie's tears subside, and she regains her composure. You move to punish Lack for destroying the heart's domain, but Laddie takes firm hold of your sleeve. Uh -huh. Even after all this, she seems to trust it. To believe there is more to its situation than meets the eye. Oh. Lack awaits atop the spire. Hoping to learn why it's doing this, the two of you journey upward. Lack is a minion of the Isle Eater. Laddie's a Mega Memorial Staff. Okay. Uh huh? No. No, <laughs> I don't want to fight uh, random RNG bullshit. This was going so well until they're like, ha ha, got you. Some random fights get wrecked. Oh, that did nothing. Maybe they want you to be able to relive your time. Remember how great it was fighting with Laddie? More Aurora Borealis. More whisper, whisper acoustic guitar. Ow. He's berserk. I should attack the other one first. Yeah, whatever. Mm. Boom. Mm. Congrats. Thanks. Really appreciate it. Zoom, I'll have one more. Okay, maybe not. All the stelas are here. The altar is surrounded by four stela, each bearing the color and likeness of their respective maiden. You reflect on the friends you've made over the course of your journey. If only they were there by your side now. As if responding to your quiet summons, light issues forth from the stela and the maiden's relics. Laddie's memories of them live on in the heart's domain. Be lucky. <laughs> Perhaps they can aid you in your hour of need, yep. after all. Or just be able to add the maidens and their attendants to your party. So do I get to choose? Is that what's happening here? I just don't remember who did what. Um, I want to heal her before moving on. Yeah. Uh, so I remember what the red does. We can get a tank. Um, Onyx is dark attacks. This, this is like having a bunch of healers. I might just do ivory. I suppose this is your alternate endings in the game, would be who you choose here. Be my guess. We'll do ivory. Yoink. Yeah. Now do I get to use... Okay, I can equip them with stuff, so that's good. You will get the gemstone ring. Very good. And you will get another ring. Protection, maybe. Let's 
Let's do Namaste. Um, I should do maybe different skills for our friendos here. Um, I don't need Stunning Blow because I doubt I'm going to be able to stun the enemies. So let's switch that with a self-heal. Single attack, all attack, big boy attack. Oh god. These menus kind of suck, but I like that they're cards. Yeah, charge spell, thunderbolt, heal. Cure target of all status elements. Maybe we'll put that back. I forget what these people even have. Oh my god. Why? Setup. Skills. Okay, so you got... Oh, you got the regen. Is your big thing. Thunderstorm. Light damage. Okay. And yeah, you're you're about generating and healing, which is great. Okay, sure. And the force edge could be good after we get our defense up. Let's do this. The altar glows with a faint light. Touching it might just send you back to the real world. Hang on. I want to see what happens if I touch another one. I can have six. Probably not. Dang. <laughs> that would have been cool. <laughs> Let's just see if you like touch all of them. All right, bring them back. Put their accessories back on. Just have you know, ten cards against one. That'd be fun. Why not? Be a fun finale, wouldn't it? Okay, here we go. Indeed, touching the altar plucks you from the heart's domain and returns you to your own world. Laddie looks rather ill. You suppose you would too if someone had been mucking about in your heart of hearts. Get a muck about. She forces a smile and tries to act as though all is well. There is no time to waste. You must see to your business in the real world and return to the heart's domain as soon as possible. Did you know, chat, that some upper Michigan slang uh, for eating a bunch of food is called muck or mucking like i'm gonna muck some pasties later <laughs> there's some today i learned for you out of the light that swells from the altar appear the maiden and her attendant or rather illusions of them <laughs> nice <laughs> But how are they here? Could what's happening in Laddie's heart's domain be affecting the real world? Could we bring back all the maidens? Uh, what am I supposed to do? Proceed through the spirit spire. Am I supposed to go back? Where is Lack? Go out. Hmm. 
See, like, there's this area I couldn't get to. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Proceed through the spirit spire. So, do I go back into it? I guess. I am confused. I suppose that just gives you another chance to, like, buy stuff. Flip these cards. I guess I go back? I don't understand what's happening here. Sure. Maybe I was supposed to find him here. Maybe I bring... Oh, okay, there's a way to the right. <laughs> Happenstance. Don't hold back. Okay. Boy can get an attack off before these two. Our boy! No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool attack. Look at the fun we're having. Show them what you got. Uh -huh. Should I be starting with five? Treasure? Oh, the way. A beach. Yeah. Find the spire. Hey, chronometrics. We're slaying the spire. Not the one you think of, though, when I say that. <laughs> All right, I am going to charge spell and do a different attack here, I think. That's the heal thing. One to three. 
And then I have a five for the next attack. Okay. Force Edge. Is this only... Ugh, it's not an all attack. Woof. Maybe I didn't want the ivory maidens. <laughs> Oh, that was not a good heal either. <laughs> sure. Yeah, he still hits like a bus though. Try to get a heal here in the next fight. It's gonna make us go through like each environment and like four levels before we get there. Uh huh. Nope, 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 nope. There you go. I'm not going to get a, a heal. Hit him with the white light. Oh, triple beam. change. Because apparently we're we're gonna fight for another half hour before the we get there. Hope you win. Thanks. I'm annoyed <laughs> if you can't tell from my inflection. I'm annoyed that we have to do this. Feel. Magnificent. Thanks. All the all attacks. Maybe we should just do her. Should just do that each time. I'm gonna solve all your problems. Um, thunder. I messed up. Oh, this might work. Oh yeah, her thunder attack is not as great as it should be. I 
picked the wrong maidens. <laughs> I don't like the white maidens. The ivory maidens. Ugh. I thought maybe going full healing would be a good idea, but it feels like it's pretty rough. Another chunky gold. I have like five of those. But there's nothing to buy. A desk. You approach a young girl with Laddie's face. I hope I'll be a great maiden. She prays softly and repeatedly. Mm hmm. Uh-oh. You approach a young girl with Laddie's face. Friends forever, Laddie squeals, clutching a stuffed animal tightly to her chest. We're trapped. The toy looks rather like a spirit. We're trapped in the endless circle. You approach a young girl. As long as I can protect those I care about most, all will be well, she says, grinning from ear to ear. favors the bold. Sure does. You did great. I did great, chat. Nothing. I don't know what's this way. More enemies. And fight. That last combo seemed to work pretty well. Magnificent. I was gonna say, yeah, that one gets an attack off. Um. Whatever. What a crit. Magnificent. Okay, I guess that's the attack pattern we're using. Nothing. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> At least we can zoop. Auto saving. Uh oh. You approach a young lonely? How could I possibly be lonely? She says with a bashful look. Jump say rank two. Gain two extra gems. That's hype. We could gain like three extra gems. I'm doing it. It's gonna mess up my order. Oh, it's plus one to everything though. That's pretty hype. Not bad. Where the heck? Okay. Which means I can do four and three.
do a, a heal. Nice heal. Nice, nice, nice. Have a sphere. It's white. It's crit. It's overkill. Where do we go now? There's fourth floor. Fourth floor of the spire. Ugh, there's gonna be like 10 more of these. They did this in the first game too. They just had like an endless tower at the end. Oh, that's a boss. <laughs> was a boss. There are 54 floors. Yeah, feels like it. Hey, Rorschach. They're all weak to that. One down. Uh, you can't attack. You do the charge. Oh, I get to get to do the all attacks before they even get a go. Lovely. thought we were close to the end, and we totally aren't. <laughs> yeah, these are all old boss cards. You know, get crit shot. I wonder if this is so you can get the, the backside stories for them. Because I think you have to kill things ten times to get their backstory. Glarings. I didn't really like these monsters' backstories, though. They're not as, like, interesting as the other ones. Glaring. He's going to stand by me forever. He and only he sees the real me. I don't have to be the maiden around him. Wherever I go, whatever I do, his gaze follows. I'm certain each time he glimpses the real me, he grows to hate me that much more. Yeah, they're... Not that interesting. Unlike the other, a giant boulder. A large boulder. What will you do? One cliff or another. You place your oh, hands shit. on the boulder and set your feet behind you. Last Standard your relationship. boulder drops into the water with a mighty splash. A sploosh. But it proves too small to alter the current. Mm. Bet there's another boulder up here. All oh, enemies. Oh, the crit. It wasn't enough, the but I think I get to go before them. Count them up. Two boulders. Wait, you're pushing it the wrong way. Okay. The boulder drops into the water with a mighty splash, altering the current. Mighty, we're a bunch of beavers being busy. Oh! Heavenly Guardian, breastplate worn by the Guardian of the Gods. Okay. Is 
it better than what you have? I mean, it's just nine defense. Actually lose like a heck ton of speed. Kinda don't want it. <laughs> oh my god, these menus are fine and balanced. I mean, her getting it wouldn't be terrible. Fine. Oh, a little side zoop there. It's gonna mess up my order of attack here, though. Hope you win. Oh, uh, maybe not. Hope you win. Like, am I supposed to feel like I'm super powerful here, or like, what is the point of this? The abjects. Fine, we'll read it. It won't let me go to the left. I gotta go all the way, all the way, all the way. The abject. Nope. Nope. I am special. Everyone watches me, my every move. They're pinned all their hopes and dreams on me. I have to meet their expectations with a smile. I am not special. Everyone looks at me with such despair. I'm too frightened to look at anyone in the eye. Yeah. Yeah, those ones aren't as fun as, like, all the other ones. Um, sure. Okay, it's just connected now. And me... And force impact. They're all weak against it. And thunderstorm. We take that all pretty well, but then we contemplate about our actions, and then we realize that that thunderstorm was also windy. And we went. Steelers are back. Something leaps out at you from the Steelers shadow. Okay. Oh no. Okay, so these guys got a few more uh, HP than what we're used to. So I might actually take hits here. Lol. Um. Inflict seal. Let's just, let's just do what we've been doing. Magnificent. Nice. The bee! But what did the happenstance do? I didn't. Alright, let's take one of them down. Magnificent. Thanks. Oh, not the glower. M sealed. M sealed. Second orbed. Fortune favors the bull. <laughs> Orb and beams.
So experience level up. Dream Keeper slightly increased the chance of landing a crit. Sure. Get Rex, Steelers. Again. Stack of eyes. We're watching you, JJ. Magnificent. Dang, I needed six for what I wanted, didn't I? Whoops. Miscounted. They throw cards at you. Ow, I'm dying. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that's like really bad. Um, okay, so I'm going to attack with you. Oh shit, the next one's frozen. Well, I was going to use a thing. Magnificent. Yeah. Eh. See if we live here. Thing is, yeah. Ouch. <laughs> okay, well, at least you're still up. Yell at. I actually healed something. I don't know. His armor is like not great. Which feels bad. Okay, good. Got him. Magnificent. Thanks. Uh, you will use a tiny salve for the tiny problem. Oh, missed. Lol. Lol. Alright, we're going to do charge. And then you're gonna res that friendo. No, I probably don't need to do it anyway. Awaken! Then we're going to contemplate. And then a big boy. Attack! So that gives us a defense up. Teamwork, mate. Lil. All right. Um, do no more charging. Let's get some heals in here. Uh, let's do this. It has a D6 too. It just depends which um, skill you're using. Yeah, I enjoy that as well. There you go. Finished with full health. Hmm. Oh, just kidding. One on the right did. Oh, I guess no one did. <laughs> okay, never mind. Heck them Steelers. i going to fight two more, probably. Why not throw a random fight in back. between? I think so, JJ, yeah. We're on our way to fight. <laughs> the final, the final fight. It's just taking a moment because of all this stuff. <gasps> Treasure, I'm gonna solve all your problems? No, okay, just uh. Yeah, we're, we're these things we're fighting are 
all bosses times two, essentially. And fight. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. let's just do a charge. You will do a white sphere. Epic. You will do a charge. Kind of want to do. Let's do that instead. Teamwork makes the dream work. Because the attack down is nice. And then we're going to get a charge. Because, yeah, kind of felt that coming. No! Okay, good. Getting friends sealed away is not fun. Um, double heal. Excellent. Get a charge. And dang, I needed six. Stop that. I hate it. Nope. He did again. Um, let's do this. And you'll do this. The audio is a bit off because I'm playing at a higher speed because these fights take forever and I want to get through them. I'm just gonna have you charge, I think. Heck. Bit annoying. That is it annoying enough that I use one of these? I mean, sure. I don't think she gets her turn though, so we skipped over it. Self a heal. Do a slice. Sick magnificent. Sick crit. Of course. Nice miss. That's actually really good. Gain four gems, sure. Thanks. Um, give him, give him the free attack. Bam. Finish him off. Weak. <laughs> Goodbye, Steelers. Super Solios. What? I don't know how to read the chat. Meals after training are always so lavish. Maybe if I train really hard, I'll be able to fill my belly with all my favorite fruits. I'm not making any progress with my training. Instead of giving me fruit, the adults just weigh me down with more responsibility. <laughs> Oh no. Responsibility. More stairs. Fifth floor. We're making it. We're on the fifth floor. 
Oh god. Wow, the shadow is me. <laughs> Are there people here now? Critical. Fortune favors the bold. Rude. the island's last hope the old woman wails yay this flower matches laddie perfectly the young man murmurs to himself with a smile is this a mirror of mega village seems that way old woman wails um, got all this stuff ready. None of this is new. Okay. I will buy more things. More quality Omnisolves. <laughs> I have many of them now. Uh, let's buy some things that cure freeze. Yeah, because that's been annoying. Buy two. And then we'll just get a bunch of these. <laughs> no, I meant to buy more. Uh huh. Buy an Inspire Elixir. Oh god. Pepper Upper. Because I used some. Um, I have Susan Bomb. Okay, thanks, my guy. Hope you win. Imagine we have to go to the Maiden's uh, Temple to do whatever they want us to do. Hoping I can turn the fast attack off once we get to the boss fight. Hey, treasure. I keep. I suppose I could sell all those. Why though? Our village is in your hands, he says, looking at you all solemnly. Okay. Maybe not. Come visit any time, the woman says. She promises to prepare all of Laddie's favorite. It doesn't look like anyone's visited this maiden shrine in a long time. I stand by the maiden forever and always. You reckon this woman would be by the maiden's side, no matter what becomes of her you or the island. <laughs> Thinking maybe someone would be there. Why are we colorblind? Because we are in uh, the spirit world. <laughs> Which I'm unsure if we're inside Laddie's head right now or just the spirit world. I think we're just in the spirit world. No color here. Only sorrow. All right, sixth floor. There we go. All right. Uh, first, turn the speed off. Let's make sure everyone's healed up. Um, maybe was there a sleep down below? <laughs> we saw lack and we're like, bye! 
<laughs> Only Sawo. Where's our house here? No, okay. I'll just buy some some quick solves here. I would like to I guess I only have room for one. HP down will be fine. <laughs> it's like, do I? If I get a fight here, I'm gonna be annoyed. We'll do it. We'll do a quick save. Yup. Finale. Oh shoot. It's time. Lack. A girl stands before the altar, gazing up at the ominous night sky through the collapsed ceiling. But remember, it's not a girl. It's a puppet with the girl growing out of it. And yeah. <laughs> Her hand puppet, its mouth opening and closing rhythmically, turns to face you. Name your next pet, Laddie. Yeah, Laddie's a fun name. What like could it. have driven it to wreak havoc on yeah, the undulating heart's domain and pulsating? After it made no small effort to help you set it right. <laughs> that really hit you, didn't it, Magna? <laughs> what will you what was the question? What are you doing? What are you doing? We can fix this together. The world may be broken, but you fixed it before. You can fix it again. You offer Lack your hand. I cannot be with you, it refuses. Oh, no. It wishes to tell you about the fate of this world, since you've been such good companions on this journey. Oh, thanks. Lux, Lux, Morfat. Ah! Mysterious spell. Lack's incantation calls the darkness down from the sky. In an instant, the altar is completely enshrouded. Yeah, more tower. You drift in the endless dark. But then, several beings <gasps> of pure light but appear. But then... This must be the distant past. Islands dot the ocean as far as the eye can see. Oh, it's like a constellation. People offer maidens as sacrifices to the spirits who then use their own life force to protect the islands. It is a cruel bargain, but mortals and spirits alike grew tired of this horrific exchange. And one by one, the islands began sinking into the sea. Yeah, no, Fila touching Steelers. Lack says it wishes to end this centuries long saga of sacrifice. Yeah. And so it found a maiden with more heart than any who had come before. Because women have more heart than anything, Shula Dame. Within this the card explained powerful it. heart, <laughs> Lack sought to build a refuge, a home to which the spirits might flee, oh. safe from the horrors of the world. The scheme it describes is hard for a mortal mind to grasp. But one thing is clear. Lacks desire to help the spirits. Okay. So instead of sacrificing them, he's going to bring them here, but then the islands still go away? You are no longer needed, Lax says. Oh. It gathers an immense amount of magic power to banish you from this world. I'm getting banned. You have to protect Laddie. That is all that matters. 
you dart in front of her to shield her from the imminent blast. Whoa! It backfired. Or something. It says her maiden and company. Hooray! But he hated her. Oh, the Crimson Maiden coming. Ah, oh, everybody's here. The friends you've made on the journey leap to your side in your hour of need. Friendship wins. I see we are destined to fight, Lack says. Where's the before Iron Maiden? escaping <laughs> through a rift that opens up before the altar. I really hope it's 10 cards versus some crazy boss fight. To be honest, point, you will love me. Because that'd be really cool. <laughs> yeah, we gotta talk to everybody. We will emerge victorious, Hyde says resolutely. Yo, Hyde, you were an asshole, though. <laughs> he was happy to sacrifice the maiden. I love it when you get all fired up. Fila says to Hyde, whose ears redden. Okay. I will not tolerate another failure, Lanka yells. He was just fist, joking. Nugging yeah. each word against poor Krim's skull. Apparently, Krim had stepped on her foot, nearly tripping her. Uh huh. Time to show that sack of fluff who's tougher, Lavia shouts, looking ready to punch the air before her. Try to keep your wits about you, Gladio sighs, his words slightly muffled by his mask. Wouldn't be a boss fight without a sigh beforehand. It's the biggest battle of our lives, and I've lost my weapon, Queenie sobs. Queenie, no! Come now, it's right here. Blight soothes, removing the sword from the sheath on Queenie's back. Oh, you're such a klutz, Queenie. Mom! End this so we can return to the village, Grief implores. Laddie's mother smiles and nods in agreement. Anyway, that's the same. Everyone's here. The Onyx Maidens, Ivory, Azure. I forget what the red is called. And uh, Onyx Omega. Everyone's here. Is apt to be the final one of your journey. Final battle. I guess. I don't know. Oh, they left the party. That's not good. 2v1 darkness oh. darkness is all around you darkness <laughs> and within that darkness a giant shade as big as any island wriggles and writhes oh darkness what <laughs> my name is lack hi and as the spirit sovereign I shall see the wishes of my brethren fulfilled. I was gathering huge amounts of energy from the other spirits. Use the map to locate the spirits feeding into the sovereign and defeat them first. The cards of the spirits you can fight emit a strange glow. Make sure you're well prepared. <laughs> yeah, okay. What? E big. Hi. You are bathed in a warm, comforting light. Magical power issues forth from Laddie's mother. Be careful, Laddie's parents implore, as they see you uh, off da, 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 to the uh, final battle. Final battle. Uh oh, we are revealing. <laughs> cool. Oh dear. Am I to go around the outside first? I don't understand what's happening. Nope, can't go there. Nope, can't go there. Nope, nope. Oh, because I gotta go here. Well, I was scared of the. Ooh. Ooh. Or 
Did they get my photo? <laughs> So I'm to attack those things first, I guess. Uh oh, this card will remain unflipped. Haha, -ha, I did it. Yeah, okay. All right, so I gotta fight the things before I fight the thing. I guess. I will fight the purple. Shrouded in darkness, oh, black dragon. And exuding pure malice. This dragon can be none other than the onyx spirit from the maiden's myth. Oh no. Bitter cries ring out from the island, consumed by the wetlands. We too understand the pain of losing your home. With the Onyx Maiden okay, so and the attendant at your side. They all you come along with us. Weapons. Just remember. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Calm down! That was many cards. Happenstance. See, this is a bummer because uh those two rings that I used with the other ones, I just don't get to use those now. I'm just like, sure. Those are no longer available. What's your attack again? Hellfire. Um, if I use this, three. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Attack up. I hated that. Um, all right. What is this? Damage to all enemies. Okay. So you're just going to pump up, which is silly because you already attack up. So I'm just going to do this. And I'm about to get defense up anyway. So starlight fail. Get them. Weak against the light. Teamwork makes the dream work. Happenstance cards. More damage. All right, you're gonna use one of these things. So that's what we bought them for, to use them. On that card, yeah. Um. Deal 15 dark damage. Dark damage. Yeah, kind of figured that. Okay. Ooh, this slice. He did this slice. Um, do, do a heal. Supreme. Yeah, they do, but at the same time, like the enemy will go first then. So it's it's a bit confusing. Nice. Uh, charge. Really, we're just trying to keep people alive and then having Click, click, attack. Hellfire. No. I don't want to use, like, all my solves. I have so many. Okay, maybe it's not a problem. <laughs> Where's my mutiny? Mutiny. And who named us click, 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 click? Click, 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 click. Dragon glare. Inflict paralysis. Oh, no. Paralysis. And I have a thing just for that. No, it was freeze. Click his brains out <laughs> on it. 
I will click its brains out. More defense. The defense buff only lasts three turns, so doing this again gives me more defense. Charge. Do a hellfire. Sure. Yeah, the happenstance cards are kind of weird. They only occur during like boss fights too. So like, oh yeah, deadly poison. That's right. I should have did that earlier. Oh, my defense. Um, charge. And fire. Sometimes they'll give you like four gems and it's awesome. Um, are you doing a hellfire? Sure, why not? Why not? It was different, Pong. <laughs> Do you like the deadly poison on that? Oh shit. Oh, nice. Epic miss. <laughs> um, you can just charge. And... Flame Rush. Than nine 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 nine. Level up. Level up. Chop, chop, slice. Easy win. Do I have to fight three of those? Okay, I was like, please no. Heal me. Thanks. Be careful. Red. A skeletal knight shambles forth from the shadows. The crimson spirit from the maiden's myth, you presume. Charmed. Oh, yeah. Oh, he grumbled. You hear the long, deep sigh of a warrior, fated to fight beyond their time More on this size. mortal coil. You shall be cut down by our hand, the crimson maiden shouts. She and the crimson attendant square up beside you, ready to face down this dastardly foe. Spooky, scary skeleton. It's a lot of attack. Happenstance. Fire damage goes up. Oh. Everyone gets defense. All right, you're gonna charge spell. Very good. Um, you're gonna starlight veil. Get him. Give us even more defense. Because teamwork makes the dream. Thirty-five work. attack is like a lot. Um. You do a slice. <laughs> okay. Fortune favors the bold. Deal 35 damage. 
sure. Okay, you are going to provoke. Crit is one. Over here, idiot. I'm the one to attack. Happenstance. More defense. Um, all right. You should probably charge. Uh-huh. And then you're gonna flame rush. How the fuck? Okay, you're gonna heal yourself. Do I just need a happenstance card that isn't shield up? Gain three gems, all right. I like that. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum, bum. Um, do a heal. Do an attack. Uh, I guess I'll just do a heckin' stab. Cause then we'll try these guys. Biggin' garnish. Three or greater, you son of a- <laughs> Do I just miss now? Uh, no. <laughs> it's like a waste of gems and turns. Okay, good. He missed two. So that was just a wash. We've lost our defense, but they're attacking the guy over there. Uh, Thunderbolt! I do have a bajillion potions, but I'm doing no damage and it sucks. Okay, maybe don't use fire against them. I think I have to be using their skills because they have like the roll something and guarantee this amount of damage. Oh, the double swipe. Excuse me. Time to, I'm gonna solve all your problems. Gain three gems. Don't mind if I do. Uh, let's do a heal. It's not just one boss fight, it's five! <laughs> Alright, you're gonna use you're gonna use one of them sooth stones. And you're gonna bisect blade again. Five or greater. Hey dig dug. I mean, sure. your cremate not bad and then you have an attack don't you no it rolls defense down defense down I'll help turned him on his head <laughs> but then he got defense up because FML. Um, 
must where <sighs> heal me up See, I, didn't, I don't know if this lasts to the next turn because he's doing it after his attack and it makes me think that it doesn't you know stab him just do a stab there you go do Oh, I've heard I just roll three greater. Sure. Do it. Do the big hit. Epic. But resistant to fire, so that was like. <sighs> nice. <laughs> the nice yep I have a force impact because I don't know what else to do Dang. stab stab epic fiver Get him. Five or higher! Please! Okay, thank you. I like it. We're getting there. We are getting there. Uh oh. I'm gonna solve all your problems. Don't worry. I'm using all my potions now, though, which doesn't feel great. Doesn't feel great. Mm, probably didn't need to use the potion. But it seemed like the right thing to do. This has a better chance to work. We got it. Did it together? Two more. Kill me, please. Thanks. You all sell potions? It's a pretty cool looking boss, though. Fight the An enormous oh. octopus wriggles its way out of the shadows. The azure spirit, no doubt, just as the maiden's myth described. And that woman, clad all in white, must be the ivory spirit. They're growling they too. wail in agony for the maidens who sacrifice their lives to protect the Isles. <laughs> this is our fight. The Maidens square up against their opponents, giving you and Laddie the chance to move on. Oh, they just fight them? Wait, what? Do I fight as blue and white? That's cool. I don't remember what blues attacks are. That was so, so long ago. <laughs> okay, 
I'm gonna go for the white first because I'm assuming they do the healing. Uh, I would have liked to do Soul Reservoir. I'm just gonna charge with you. Uh, the other white or ivory also can do a charge. Force Edge! Yeah, let's charge it up so we can do the blue attack, whatever that was. Doppelganger. The GM will roll and cut. Set. What? Oh. Okay. So, what do you all do? Burst. Freeze. Which won't do anything. Mysterious heart. Water resistance down. Um. Don't know what to do. Do the guys instead. Dan. Big hits. Northern cross steel attack plus five water damage to all enemies. Freeze probably won't work. Fatal sign deal ten dark damage inflict deadly poison. Yo, deadly poison. Damn it. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta cover 10 HP for 99 turns. Great. Great! Great! Um, thunderstorm! Oh, wow, 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 wow. Thunder. Heck that defense up. You're gonna do yours. Force Edge! all the damage okay I'm gonna solve all your problems fatal sign get him on the deadly poison yes oh and the flip crit excellent Correct. Um, I want to do her soul <laughs> reservoir. Um, let's do a soothe stone. Because now we can do the force edge again. I don't want to do force edge though, because that will, uh, Get rid of the poison. So we'll do a heal. Yo, what the? Rough. Rough. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. First. Rain call. Deal attack damage. Here, let's do that. So your attack's not doing a heckin' heck ton. Damage, like it has been. No freezing! I don't like it. That might just kill her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, the big 12. This is spiraling. Um, okay, she'll get up. She'll be able to heal. You got like no damage dealing. 
you keep doing that, and it's super annoying. But at least your attack's down, I guess. Um, first. Okay, I want to charge. And you are also going to charge, because I want the heal recovery going. But we're gonna have to take a hit here from whatever this guy's gonna do. So target save speed of one. Okay. <laughs> sure. Seems fair. Time for this, anyway. I can attack! Gosh, damage. Doppelganger. Five. Oh, so it's just the amount of defense up it gets? Okay. I understand. First. Man. And a crit. Feels good. Magnificent. Thanks. Uh, assault, attack down. So now it will only reduce. No, not again. Okay, good. That's probably still gonna kill her though. Okay, 11, it's not bad. Recovery, hooray. Light damage inflict seal. I'm just curious if I can inflict seal. I doubt it, but it'd be super helpful not to get lightning blasted each time. Yeah, I can't. Great. Now we know. Lightning. Wait, what? Oh, I'm being paralyzed. Great. Um, oh, I just, this, these fights are just fights of attrition. It stinks too because since he's paralyzed, he doesn't get um, a gem generation either. Just like cool. So I don't want him paralyzed for three turns. Didn't I get things for paralyzed? No, just freeze. Yeah, after 17 hours. Probably didn't need that heal. Excellent. Thank you, GM. Um, stab. Deals zero damage. I would like a rain call. Take that. No. No. Heckin' frozen.
No! Mm -hmm. More paralyze. Great. Um. There's recover him. No, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just so annoyed. It's just like, isn't fun. Too. I should have left the speed up. Option on. Just heals. Because I did no damage that turn. This is dumb. I'm not having fun, chat. <laughs> Resum. All right, take it easy, Shula Dame. Thanks for dropping in. It's great to see you again. Hope everything's going well in your neck of the woods. Force Edge! Or a heal, because god dang. Doll pull ganger. Get it, because dolls. I didn't see what dice he rolled, but okay, it was not a lot. I need to start doing, like, damage. Otherwise, he's just going to heal up, because he just heals up the entire time. Yeah, that was good. More damage. Good. You are poisoned now. Magnificent. Which will hopefully help with Yeah, the healing. <sighs> Thunderstorm! Plate and then don't die so I can heal you. Four for four. Ooh. Miss! Oh, resist. Nice. Get wrecked. Um, do a heal. You need to heal yourself. She's got recovery. Well, big heals. You do a fatal sign on you, so you're also slowly dying, please. And you're dead anyway, so glad I didn't use the heal on you. That's a lot of dice. <laughs> Her. I'm 
out of Inspire Elixir, so that's bad. We're gonna do... I want to look at the cards on the deck, but I can't because that's not how this game works. Um, I'm going to solve all your problems. Is not the correct choice here. Yeah, I'm running out of stuff. Contemplate! Great. I was going to heal her with her, but I guess not. Oh, wait, she resists. Hey, Jackets. You PB, was it you? Did I guess correctly? Rain call. I feel like, I don't know, man. None of this stuff is great. Just give him, give him another fatal sign. Because that'll reset the deadly poison. It was M.E. Who's M.E.? <laughs> That's pretty hype. Congrats. Frozen. Thunderstorm. I should do this instead so I can group heal. Yep, group heal. And then you will unfreeze our boy. Ten seconds, dang. That's a huge... Uh, well, you're dead anyway because you take times two damage when you're frozen. Fun fact, if you didn't know that, chat, you take times two damage when you're frozen. Uh, I'm out of Inspire Elixirs, so good. This is the end. Whoa, big hits. How's your brittle? Duh. A doy. Um. Kill it! Kill it! We took one of them down. Now she's gonna attack with lightning and we're all dead. Oh, she didn't, wow. I might be able to win with these two. Um, so I'm gonna solve all your problems. Oh, that's helpful. She's going to heal more. For the incoming lightning storm. Okay, doppelganger. Roll low! I mean, that's pretty low. Alright. Uh, freeze won't do what I want to do. I guess just stab. Just stab. All crit. Yeah. Fortune favors the bull. Okay. You can white light. Ooh. 
No. It hurts. Okay. Um. I'm gonna solve all your problems. And then a heal over there. Once it's her turn. Solve all your problems. <laughs> Let me attack. Okay, defense is back. Gotta heal, otherwise, I'm dead. If they do the lightning, they're gonna do a doll pull ganger. Oh, life swap. Deal two times damage. This is so dumb. I wonder if you're supposed to die here because you just move on ahead. Inflict paralysis, which doesn't work on bosses. Imagine if it did this whole time. It doesn't. Yeah, just heal back. <sighs> and there's like no way to like level up for this fight or something because you have to use these characters and these characters are set in their equipment and whatnot. Fortune favors them. Yeah, I'm ready to be lightninged to death. Just do it. One. Okay, all the defense. Great. Sure. Stab time. Wow. These happenstance cards are just like more annoying than helpful. big crit for the heal we're still in it why though okay good more of that please um burst because that's the best attack you have attack plus four sure freeze freeze it this dice roll don't matter but we were doing it for the attack up solves and three gems hooray <laughs> wait <laughs> yeah exactly no oh god and you attack the one that can actually be paralyzed Oh, just kidding. Resist. Oh, okay. Still paralyzed. Here, use more. All 
All right, attack. Attack with the white light. Because we have the happenstance with the... Oh, my fuck. <laughs> Mutiny. And who named us click, 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 click? Yeah, then they heal up all the way back to 100. Sure. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. Oh my gosh, I attacked. Are you dead? Good. You're all supposed to get sacrificed anyway. It's in the name of the game. Freeze it. Dan. Crit freeze. Holy shit. That was so much damage. Watch her solo win this. Wouldn't that be cool? No, 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 no. Game over. Yeah, it uh, looks like. Mm, thanks, GM. If I have to start over and fight the two things before this, I'm not doing this. Yeah, it wasn't even me who died. <laughs> Uh, 1730. I imagine you do. And if that's the case, I'm, I'm all right. Yeah. Yeah, this is stupid. This battle is apt to be the final one of your journey. No, I don't want to, Kalaria. I'm just not going to do it because it's stupid. Yeah, darkness, we're not doing this. And within that darkness, <laughs> a giant shade. All right, GG, voice of cards, maiden's tale. Like. You were as not as good as the first game. The wishes of my brethren fulfilled. I'm alt f 4 Get wrecked. <laughs> GG. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Kind of a bummer we don't get to see the end of that one, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing it. That's like not fun or rewarding. So, no thanks. By the way, this was a sponsored stream. Thanks, Square Enix, for the key. I was happy to share it with everyone, even though we didn't finish. There's. I didn't even get half the achievements in the game. Like, that's crazy. Like, what else is there to do in the game afterwards? It's crazy. I think there's actually a new game plus. Uh, the first one had a new game plus. Which is kind of like, whatever. Um, but yeah, my name's TicTacFo. Hope you enjoyed the stream today. We might be back later tonight with some uh, Condor commentaries. Uh, if those are going on. But in the meantime, we'll find the right target for you. And I'm gonna make some dinner. Some of that Chapod's pie. Gonna be yummy. Willy, 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 willy. Yeah, it's very good. We'll see you guys over to Alias Spot. Looks like they're just starting. Uh, they're playing some Noita. Another really good game. And I'll see y'all next time.